Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth Joe. Welcome to a replay of Nancy Drew Danger on Decaption Island. I am, yeah, here it is. Here comes another one, too. Samantha and Silence, my brother. Thank you for this, these reverb farts. I'm very excited to replay this game, this time on Senior Detective, because I think I misunderstood the no, entire I don't play plot any games. the first I'm time I played now. it. I've had enough Honk. of playing games. Welcome to my latest game, Danger deep, on dark Deception hole. Island. To learn yeah. how to play, choose gameplay. Thank all of you. you for all of those game, things dear Ned. that are happening. Very bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's I have friend, to listen. I don't know the story. Me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research in the deep water parasitic growth. Yikes. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge. Say hi to like YouTube. <laughs> Maybe it's because George and Bess arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans okay? don't work out so well. They or maybe it's because we're about to die at a place called the vacation Snake for me. <laughs> and and now town, I'm going to a creepy or maybe it's town. Because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. And I forgot how to anyway, relax. It's not raining, but it's I wonder not why. Either. It's just kind of gray. And it's rainy. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. And, and not Every rainy. Years, Nancy. <laughs> And it's not rainy, it and I feel strange. Oh, thank you so much for all of those things that just happened, chat, really? and all the stickers. Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Katie Firestone. I that is gonna be my great timing, huh? I just got my alter ego. Groceries. George could not have picked a better time for, to arrange for you to for come crime. out. For crime. Last week, this orca showed Yahoo. up on the channel, and now it. Oh, I'm oh Katie gosh, Firestone. What happened? I'm Melissa Goodyear Tires. Someone tore the place apart. I want you to sit down. I want you to the shut engine's up. Engine's a mess. And I want Parts you to are learn missing. something. Others are damaged. Why I'm never gonna know what's happening this? in this game, am I? Am I? <laughs> She's Katie Firestone. I'm gonna be Melissa Goodyear Tires. No. Melissa Goodyear Tire. Not this Eric. Everyone, Eric went to the San Juan Islands to watch for whales, which is apparently what we're doing in this game. And in fact, I the first time I played this game, I thought they painted a Russian dolphin to look like an orca. And I don't think that was actually what was happening here. So what had happened is we got to this vacation. Katie Firestone's car is bro her water car is broken. Well, are you going to fix gonna it? Are you going to be able to fix it? I better be Stop. able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't even get a word out. <laughs> well. Well, first of all, I would not offer to help. We better call the we sheriff. Better call the sheriff. <laughs> Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The I don't insurance want to help. company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've I got hear my that. very own private detective now. You. Oh, so I have to work on vacation. Are you sure you don't want to? This is a crime. This is a crime. It needs to be reported. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket, and don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. Oh my the God, Stephen King, the mist. As thick as cotton, and never go out without a GPS. Sad. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. And global? Here bunks the empty one below. Okay. Why don't you go unpack? Get this Need crap off help? of my screen. Nope, I'm all unpacked. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the boat, and here's what I'm saying that this game is about. Nancy Drew needed a vacation. Bess and George made me go on vacation. I got to vacation. There's a mystery. Someone doesn't like Melissa Goodyear tire and wrecked her water car, and there's not a Russian dolphin yet? Well, now that we know what's up, uh, it is time for our first ever. This is, we are partnered with Rosetta Stone again for this. Uh, cool and I, we are going to be taking, it is a cool story. We are going to be taking our first of several language learning breaks uh, in this stream. Here, let me do the, uh, y'all wanted Otter Funk for this? 
you're getting otter funk for this. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rosetta Stone and we're going to be doing a, a language learning. Um, so if you have seen, you can type exclamation point Rosetta Stone in the chat. Um, Rosetta Stone does use a dynamic immersion approach to learning languages. So you're not just memorizing translations, you're learning more naturally, you're learning with pictures, uh, audio from native speakers, interactive activities, you're using your microphone and you're speaking as well. And it really aims to get you conversation ready. So I have still been doing my French lessons because y'all know I love my French media. Uh, my husband, Justin, is doing Japanese because he really likes Japanese movies and entertainment. Um, and you can use Rosetta Stone. As you can see, I'm on my PC right now. You can use it on your computer, tablet, phone. I like to do it on my phone or tablet in bed before I go to sleep. So I'm going to show you around Miss Stone and show you some of my favorite features as well. So as you can see here, it has 25 different languages to choose from. I'm still doing French. Um, today, for today's stream, I thought I would start the, uh, you've got Spanish Latin America and Spanish Spain. We are going to be starting Spanish Latin America. Um, it's the one, the language I took in high school, and um, I would like to get back into it. Uh, so, here's the interesting thing though, whenever y'all have seen me start the other languages, I have started from the very beginning and I'm not doing that with this one. We are actually, so when you first start a language, Rosetta Stone is like, so are you a beginner? Do you know a little bit already? Or are you a little bit further on? And I told it I knew a little bit already. So it started me on core lesson 3.1. So uh, I'm going to reset this one just so y'all can, uh, we can start from the beginning of it. Oh, and we set up our microphone. You can also do sessions without microphone. That's about one, two, three, four, five. I'm all set. Now check this out. Él escribe. So I know that means he's writing. So this Ella is uh, where the immersion part comes in. And hopefully we'll do some uh, pronunciation as well in just a little bit because then you can see one of my favorite features which is the little the uh, pronunciation engine that's built in that shows you how well your pronunciation is so i know that this means she's reading El habla. she's reading uh he sp is speaking Ella habla. and we have a uh, we have spanish speakers in the chat as well we have people in the chat uh spanish German speakers, and now we have some French speakers. So she's speaking. Now check this out. This is where El I'm gonna. Escribe árabe. This is where I'm gonna show off a little bit. The boy is writing I don't Arab know German Arabic. Dictionary. I speak a little German myself. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much, Samantha. I do appreciate it. Uh, so here's where you're kind of like, it's not just showing you a direct translation. You are, you're able to know the boy right here and then escribe, I know. And so I can assume this is Arabic. El hombre lee chino. So the man is reading Chinese, I believe. La mujer lee inglés. And then you can also make it bigger or you can see the translation as well if you want to. So it's really doing a uh, very immersive ap approach to teaching you the languages. So the woman is reading English. Gardening tips! La we love to see it. Uh, the girl is writing Spanish. So now... Ella habla chino. Ella escribe chino. Now it's showing me two different ones. We're a little further in the lesson. We're going to be coming back to it a little uh, bit. We're going to have several language learning breaks in the stream. Um, so I know this is she's writing Chinese. Because here we have she's speaking Chinese and he's writing Arabic. So she's writing Chinese. Él habla árabe. We're using, I would say, most of my brain cells at this moment in time. Uh, he's speaking Arabic. 
we can assume that he's reading the Arabic and speaking it. Uh, he's reading Arabic. So you can see how the, uh, lessons will progress so that it's teaching you more and more based on what you already know. So she's, uh, reading Chinese. So probably uh, in today's stream, we'll get to some lessons where we actually get to pronounce. Oh, this is the one where now we're listening to a, a native speaker and I have to determine. So it's showing me also what they're speaking over here. La muchacha habla inglés. La muchacha habla inglés. The girl is speaking English? La muchacha habla inglés. La mujer habla español. The woman is speaking Spanish. So El now we get to hear it inglés. in uh, a native speaker saying these and we're matching them with it. And that's helping me hear it as well. El hombre habla inglés. The man speaking English. El niño habla español. Uh, the boy is speaking Spanish. Who can stop me? Rosetta Stone. But not, but how do you know what language they're speaking? Escribe Espanol. So here is what I'm talking about with this as well, by the way. Le Espanol. So my pronunciation could probably use a little bit of work. Habla Espanol. So you can see. Habla Espanol. It's detecting how well I'm speaking it right now. Um, but I'm going to show y'all now. Leo Chino. But we're gonna, we're gonna Chino. come back to this Leo. lesson uh, later in the stream. But right now, if y'all type exclamation point Rosetta Stone, um, it's also on my about tab if you click the picture. And then also, on if you're on YouTube, it's in the description. Uh, you can get over 60% off a lifetime subscription. So the MSRP is now $399, and you're getting $149 for the lifetime. So um, that's over 60% off. So that's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, click those links. You'll see this page. You'll see all the options. Uh, but with the lifetime subscription, you never pay the renewal fee. You get access to all the languages and you can really learn at your own pace. Uh, learn multiple languages, come back to them. Uh, and at the end of the stream, I am going to be doing a giveaway for a one year activation of Rosetta Stone. And yes, the link is evergreen. Definitely come back to it. Great gift. Honestly, here's also a little here. We're going to um, I'm going to play the transition, but also, let me tell you, just giving someone the code, that's a great gift. <laughs> Mama, just giving them the code, that's a great gift as well. But yeah, it, it, it makes a great gift in general. It's awesome. If someone you know has been wanting to learn a language, great for the holidays. Great gift giving. So yeah, thank you, Rosetta Stone, for partnering with me for a Nancy Drew game again. They are an awesome partner to have. And um, I really appreciate it. We're going to be doing some uh, more lessons during the stream as well. But right now, I think that I'm needed. In fact, on... Um, what did we call her? Melissa Goodyear Tires. <laughs> on Melissa Goodyear Tires boat. In fact. This is the one where I get... To, by the way... I'm also very excited because this is the one where I get to make a sandwich. No, <laughs> not deception. <laughs> deception. So the orca has been seen over here by Scrabe. Deception. This is the one where I get to make. What was that? A little bit of a nasty little sandwich. Oh, and this is her pipes are broken, I Looks think. Looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet, too. Deception. To fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. I love that. The pipes are in the cabinet. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the I forgot. In. I hope. I really like the puzzles in this one. Oh, puzzle sound effects are not the move. <laughs> 
so I'm trying to make a pipe go like around here, I think. I can do this part now, right? That doesn't go there. <laughs> Dear chat, can I do this puzzle now? I remember one thing I'm really looking forward to. That doesn't go there. Is the puzzle with the book stacking. This <laughs> sounds like my brain when I'm trying to make thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Is there a... you think there'd be... That doesn't go there. The pipe will go to the left and up around like a squiggly snake. So it'll go like this. Or does it go all the way? Do the colors of the pipe mean anything too? Because if I remember, does it, is it like an ombre, Ray? Ombre? The colors don't matter. So she's got new pipes and old pipes. I don't think that I did. I, there. I technically didn't turn no back seating on. That doesn't go there. Um, but we won't, we'll, we won't backseat too much. Here's what I'm thinking. That doesn't go there. This puzzle is not that complicated. That's not the energy I need. <laughs> That's not the energy. Can we have... I'll have y'all know. I'm gonna have y'all know this. That's enough. I fix. I have fixed our toilet multiple times. Honk. I have fixed our toilet. I can tune a piano. I can tune a piano. That doesn't go there. I'll tune one right now. I can fix your toilet. I have changed all the innards of the toilet. <laughs> Thanks, Gigi. <laughs> Sounds a little patronizing that way, too. <laughs> that doesn't go there. I need a skinty end, don't I? Oh, they're all thick ends. That doesn't go there. Oh. Where is it? That doesn't go there. If we're being honest. What is, what is, what, what is going there even go there. mean? Like, oh, I haven't tried this one. So I'm trying to, whoever did this. Pipe work. I think they should be fired. Now, I haven't fi fixed our sink yet. I probably could if our sink broke. Do y'all know about... I have to ask y'all something. Because I don't think many people that know about it. There. Do y'all know about the wax ring? The wax ring at the bottom underneath your toilet? Do y'all know about the wax? And the, if the wax wears away, it's Flood City. There's just a circle of wax that's keeping it together under that your sink, by there. the way. Or under your toilet. There's a hollow under your toilet. There's a pipe that comes down. And there's a wax ring. Look up pictures. Because when that wax ring breaks... It's over. And it's supposed to last like your whole lifetime. You should never have to change the wax ring, I don't think. But if something had happened to her. Well, I just like to share that I'm good at things. Go <laughs> Clearly, I'm good. I'm good at things. <laughs> that doesn't go there. Way to go, Joe. <laughs> Thanks, baseball. That doesn't go there. Okay. I didn't even try to put that one down. 
It had to be that one because I had tried all the other ones. So it had to have been. It had to have been that one. I think this is technically supposed to be trial and error. Chat, is this puzzle trial and error? Because I think this is actually just a trial and error puzzle. And even if it... This goes here. If even if it's not, you need to you need to say that it's trial and error. <laughs> even if this weren't trial and error, you need to respond in the chat and say, yeah, yeah it is. Yikes. <laughs> Thanks, sugar turtles. You need to reply that it is indeed trial and error. I think that did actually go there. What do I know? I just know how to tune a piano. What do I know? Oh. <laughs> now, let me tell you about our sink. Because we have a pedestal sink. It doesn't have an underneath. No storage. Am I tr is it trying to go through here? Oh, do I have to use all the pieces? That doesn't go oh. there. Yeah, probably. That doesn't go there. No, that's bad. We want you want under sink storage. And I eventually one of these days though, I'm gonna have to. That doesn't go there. This goes here. I'm gonna have to change it. I changed the now I changed the faucet before. I've changed the faucet. This goes here. Y'all may not know this about me. It has to be that one. That doesn't go there. That no. Go there. And I did get the wrong size faucet as well. This goes here. Oh, it connects up here. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Is that a, is this a trash, a garage, just a garage disposal. I almost called it a garage this disposal. The pipes all fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Hmm. There was something under the pipes. <gasps> oh! I have that as a pop socket. Whale world. That's it. That's the stream. Andy Jason. We're not going to take that with us. That's fine. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. All right, chat. What are we putting in the sandwich? Ooh, ice cream. Oh, yeah. Just oozing out jellyfish. And what's this? Oh, that's the moldy bread. Can you stack? Oh, that's moldy cheese! Baking soda. Not lip smackers, peanut butter. Oh, I won't even put ketchup on it. <laughs> I will put some jelly on it. Um, is that hot sauce? Some real, some good cheese. Another old cheese. Mustard! Freedom mustard! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, should I eat it? Let's play a game called Eat, Eat, Keep, Throw. Eat, Keep, Throw, Eat. Keep eat throw. Freedom mustard on my french fries. Eat. Well, hold on. <laughs> I told y'all. This game crashes a lot, so we should be doing this. Senior detective. All right. Where, well, I'll eat it. But then when we die... Suddenly, I don't feel so good. You gave yourself food poisoning? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and... 
Ugh, it didn't agree that was George's voice? The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Her, her initials are BM. So guys, gotta go. That was me when I ate those raw waffles. So I'll keep it. I'm gonna give it to Stacy later. Um, Melissa, uh, 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 Melissa Goodyear. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged. Stacy Firestone, Katie Firestone. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Oh, that'll be fun if that happens. Dear diary, does this one even have a checklist in general? I sh I need my notebook. I'll get my notebook. Daddy Drew's day off. Your father is taking a day off. He was supposed to be in court. Wait, who's writing the letter? Who's... Is Hannah the housekeeper? Welcome to Decaption Island. Burglaries, plague, snake horse harbor. Orca stirs up trouble. So was it ever... Uh, was it ever a Russian military dolphin? <laughs> Where did I get that idea the first time I played this game that it was a Russia, Russian military dolphin? Nancy Drew arriving town meeting. Coffee break! Oh, <laughs> not this, Gigi. Cleaning Benjamin Hawkins. Uncle Bob's B-Day. Time to get turnt at Uncle Bob's birthday party. Mayan Temple. Chill Museum in Washington, D.C. I'm sorry. This looks like a naked mole rat. I guess this is a shirt, but it looks like she has a naked mole rat in here. And I'm sleeping in here? Fish. Wonder what's in here. It looks like I... Oh. Well... <laughs> I'll have a... I'll, I'll just keep this sandwich warm. I'll put it in my back pocket. Keep the sandwich real warm. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. You think this you think is that what could caused be why it? Somebody did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close. Didn't we to find boats, some paint? So I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. So not everyone agrees? I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which cost them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. That's what I thought. We we found paint. And that's how they painted the dolphin. But the fishery service has the last Okay, I'm, I'm gathering some information here. While they study their data and visually what to do. through learning. But personally, I agree with the no boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. What do y'all think about this vest? What do y'all think about this vest situation? I think we're gonna, we need to address it. Because what's the vest doing for you? Is it keeping, it's not keeping your core warm, is it? It's a boot for me. Well, very Pacific Northwest, very DC. People love their vests in the fall in DC. Bulletproof. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into very out DC, to him, I wouldn't be. They, got, they like engine. the puffy vests here. New one. 
Uh, Jamie, thank you for that. 25 freaking months, by the way. I appreciate it. <laughs> Kick at Moss, thank you for the bits. Farfield, thank you for the bits as well. Um, do we have a dancing Enjoy. emote? Gets us, gets like, but uh, I don't know what that means, Eric. Eric. I don't know what that means. This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. I wrote it. My chat wrote it. Uh-oh. Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. This is Apple Maps. <laughs> <laughs> That's Apple Maps. She had Apple Maps. She wasn't going to find her way anyway. <laughs> she wasn't going to get there anyway. She had Apple Maps. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie, for the screaming. Can I have a look? What's up? Oh. I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh, no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt's Love Skyler will biking. borrow GPS from him. Someone stole my bike. <laughs> see you in a bit. Love right biking. Here. Someone stole my bike in real life. Three years ago. So it's fine. Love biking. Someone stole my bike. Not to make it all about me. Love the real... Oh! Should I wear my helmet? Alright, we have to see all of the deaths, right? Hehehehe. <laughs> Does she make it? Or is it... <laughs> Dead. Bike crash lands cycling sleuth in hospital. Teenager neglects to wear helmet, pays the price. Deception Zoo... They have a zucchini toss festival? Y'all know about toad suck. There was a... In Arkansas, where I grew up, we had a toad suck festival. Do I have the bike on? The helmet on? I would rather be tossing zucchinis. Oh, oh, I would love it if it was like javelin throwing. Not just like, whoosh, but like, whoosh. toad. T O A D, toad suck. It was rumored to that to be, there's a town called Toad Suck. It's rumored they used to suck on toads. <laughs> Winnie, thank you for the bits. Yes! You awarded Rosetta Stone. Pop off. Thank you. Lynn Nene, thank you for the bits. Yeah, you got it too. Heck yeah, I do appreciate that. That's awesome. It's glad to, glad to hear that. Is this where we meet Holt? Did they recycle this music from the one... From Castle Malloy? So there's Holt. That's the reserved place. It's all coming back to me. Well, well, looks like Snake Horse Harbor's got itself a newcomer. Oh. I'm visiting... I don't know any more brands of tires. Do y'all know any more brands of tires? I try not to make a habit of talking to strangers, Mr... <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto. Oh, it's classic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone said I might be able Cooper. to find you in here. Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like Melissa is, Cooper from the OC. Uh, I'm just... Oh, they... Is that what you think Katie is? Is that what you think Katie is? Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. 
to heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Someone vandal- excuse me, someone vandalized She's it? She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Excuse Somebody me? Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being Michelin. So Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse. Samantha Our Michelin. Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. I thought you said Oros Boros. Who's that Who's queen? I don't know that queen. Borosaurus. Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called oh, that's the snake, snake horse. horse. It had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. Samantha People Michelin. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times in Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. I'm not surprised, Derek. Is it friendly? Now, is, is the snake... The horse snake a real thing? Like, is it a real legend? Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. Stephen King the Mist. Did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built oh right my into god the i remember Guy this now one minute next minute he'd be clobbered over the head whisked into a secret passageway and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor i forgot he about this seas and discovered that if he wanted to survive he'd better do what the captain ordered no matter what he was before he was now a secret safe. tunnels it was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money uh, anyway, the GPS is broken. Can I have a Whoever GPS? Whoever Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. <laughs> that's the same tone I take with chat. She seemed to think you'd let me borrow one of yours. I'll let you borrow one, sure. I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? Okay, chat, what else has he got in his duffel? Chat? This is your moment to be funny. I know y'all like being funny. He said, you know what else I got in my duffel? He pulls out rubber pants. <laughs> it's rubber pants. It's um, a horse mask. It's a horse mask, rubber pants, and he says, I'm the snake horse diva. And Brittany, give me more starts playing. He gets on the bar and he starts dancing. And we look at the sign again and it says, um, Coyote Ugly. <laughs> and it says Coyote Ugly. And we say, okay. Okay. I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become Is that the name master. of a bar? Coyote yeah. Ugly? It's a movie, right? I'll take the your idea quiz. is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean, if I take the quiz... Here's the jokes. The There's the if jokes. If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about every if fish he's a you can fisherman, fishing for. Lived here for the last He doesn't years. look like he's half fish. He doesn't look like he's half fish. Hey, Simmy. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. Oh, no. No offense, but you don't look like a politician. Oh, I thank you, young lady. I'll take that as a compliment. I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense, instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. I forgot about this, his storyline. Yeah, <laughs> Y'all, this was the rumblings before the storm. 
Can I just reach in his bag? Hey, oh. stay out of there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't yell at me. The sun always sets in the ocean. <laughs> well, if we're in Seattle, it sets in the ocean. That looks right. What is the current fine for clamming without a permit? Five. 100, 120, 150, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 18, 19, 110. The left side of the boat is the um, stage, nah. stage right. Oh. Nah. S starboard. Um, what's the other one that's not starboard? It's not two dollars. Port, port. Good. The moon rises in the sky, in space. The moon rises. Oh, in the. <laughs> Y'all don't have to actually tell me it's east. Y'all know I know the answer, right? <laughs> What does this mean in Morse code? Not typing. This is kiss on horse. May Morgan, thank you for the bits. Not the no day. Sending you well wishes. Gigi, thank you for the bits again. Well, you know, Nancy does it all. She can rebuild a sink. I didn't go to school for sinks and I replaced the faucet. Hell, no. Oh, Cassiopeia. Oh. Not. Oh. Am I smart or what? I knew it was one of them. A schooner is a boat with at least two um, personalities. With at least two different wigs. Um, with at least two sails. No. Uh oh, tires. No. Uh oh, <laughs> that's a French. Wrong. What kind of knot is this? A good one. Nope. Oh, bring me a male Dunganus crab. All right, well, I have to go. A little, I'll have to do a little po poking around what for this. What can I get for you, Nancy? Oh, probably masts, tires. I don't. Some boats do have tires tied on the side, and I don't know what they're for. Do you? <laughs> Not this, Jonathan. It does have at least two O's in the name. Why do I see little tugboats with tires on the side of them, tied onto the side of them? And y'all telling me boats don't have tires? I disproved you with vision. My vision. Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. On the day my Aunt Iris turned this place over... Oh, they're like bumpers. Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener. And darn if she wasn't right. They're like bumpers. How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. Why don't it's they just drive Dublin better and then they don't the have to run into the dog? back in like... 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. Melissa Michelin. Your condolences? Your condolences? Read her! Don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. Couple of... You mean you like mean a whale? Like the whale? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says. Other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Tell me how you really feel. What? 
Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. No, how she some just can't she go knows I'm staying coffee. with her. People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. Oh, I'll take. Is there? Is he here? Is Andy Jason in here now, by any chance? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. This Kinda is y'all's crush he was in to this buy game. Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. Oh, wow. What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on. That's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. Y'all don't like Andy Jason? Y'all don't like Andy Jason? His first name could also be his last name and vice versa. Isn't that wild? Think I could try a bowl of your clam chowder? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house too. The channels, aren't they literally in her shop? Mm. Mm. Ooh, that I hate delicious. the eating sounds. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Andy Jason? It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. Um, I'll take, um, worldly tea. <laughs> it doesn't say where. And I like that world famous is in quotes because it's not real. Soy slash rice. Extra. Sh oh. Wait, what are you substituting for? What do you substitute? Rice. Rice milk? Can I get oat milk? Looks like I can't go in there. Rice milk? I've never had rice milk. I don't think I have. So here's these little things on the sides of everything. A book on sea monsters. Well, okay, cool. I'm gonna... Don't worry, I'm gonna skim this. I don't need to know about sea monsters. Because I saw the paint cans. I know they're not real. I know it's just a dolphin that's painted. <laughs> See, I know that it's not real. I know it's just a dolphin. What is this card thing? Good question. And I said it and the others like it have been on the wall. Books? Since the Pass. I'm playing a video game. I'm not here to read a book. Oh, only that one was open at first. Okay. No, I want to turn. There we go. I want to spin. Aha. Maritime signal flags. Chat. Do you spell your name with it? Papa. Papa. Oh, my name would be... Oh, oh, Juliet, Oscar, Sierra. Oh, this is going to be the best name ever. Juliet, Oscar, Sierra, Echo, Papa, <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> it, it fell off at the Papa Hotel part. It fell off at Papa Hotel. Oh, which, which one does... A male. The males. Okay, look identical. <laughs> Do the males have skintier abs? Oh, the males have more symmetrical abs, and the female Dunganess crab has ultra abs. Yeah, clam chowder is fish and milk. Diamond Lake, thank you for the bits. Wax rings! Oh my god. There it is. Wax rings. You learned the hard way. Whoa, the music really died when we got to Whale World.
Andy Jason's not your crush in this one? Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Justin Timberlake, 2001. <laughs> Oh, no, the fish and milk phase was a phase in my early, mid-20s um, when I ate a lot of fish and milk. Are you Andy Jason? And it was That's not me. good for How'd me. You know? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. Oh, really? She hates you. So you consider yourself to be a So you think you're Katie's? friends? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. You mean if she'd just accept your offer? I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. You don't think I'm that shirt fits him? Class operation. It's my mission to see How that do you everyone know that shirt's who comes tight? to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. No, it's baggy. And look at the arms in the process, when he does cool this. Too. No, that shirt's baggy, y'all. Y'all, under there, he's a toothpick. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away Look from me. Look at his arms and when frankly, he bends them. With this whale Extra fabric right there. there. I'm losing a lot of customers to her. I don't remember him wearing this shirt either. <laughs> it's a dark isn't the whale just as good for you? Sometimes you need a tarp. For hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition, which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. It sounds like you don't think you're friends with Katie. Do you admit it? Katie's better than you? Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers, as many as she can safely fit. Oh, I want a clamming permit. That's not a, I don't, I guess I don't know what clams are. <laughs> what do you think should be done with the orca? I was going to say, that's there? not a clam. Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Spill the tea. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did well, it. Well, we already Sheriff know who did it. Head. Yeah. And, yeah. Now we're playing the game knowing who did it. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. Not the tank top to mod. Sure she couldn't go I don't think there are any mods world. for Nancy Drew bad. games. Hey, Lauren. It's him. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. An Easter as egg for eating. Out of commission, I'll get all her customers. Are you? Is it? You're literally gonna give me just an Easter egg? Cause I've been lied to about Easter eggs several times, and most of the time, I hate. Get, they're boring. Thanks for your time. <laughs> I hate them, one. and they're boring. Can I have my free keychain? Oh my god, I'm ready for this emotional whale journey. There's a whale test over here, isn't there? Oh, I need a card. Did he, he didn't give me a card? No. Looks like I need a key card to play. Well, y'all told me the cheat not necessarily a cheat code, but y'all told me that code when I played um uh the game that takes place in Japan where I can skip the dialogue. Cause. <laughs> I can feel this sound. I feel like in another life, I might've been this whale. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, fish and milk. Is that whale okay? Is she okay? Is that whale okay? Ooh. Is 
if is making your stomach hurt. If I heard this sound, if I were underwater, which you won't catch me, you will never catch me underwater. Why? Because I evolved on land and I'm not going back. You can't make me. I'm not going no. back. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. I ain't going back. And I, but if I were and I heard that, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a weed whacker. That's a lawnmower weed whacker. Well, I can't swim. So if you do catch me underwater, you should probably help me because it also means I'm dying. Which I was when I fell into the pool as a child at the hotel in Florida. <laughs> And it took him a little too long to save me. And what? Farville, thank you for the bits again. Kick at Moss, thank you for the bits. Shaney, I'm glad you got to pop in. I do appreciate it. That's a U that is the ghost of a UFO alien. That is the ghost of a UFO alien. I'm not retaining the information, by the way. I know how to do the quiz. So you don't need to worry about me. I need a card. I need to go ask that man about the card. Oh, I love spinning things. Except if I'm the one Hi, spinning. Hi, Nancy. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won. And it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. I have the same thumb as him. Mine's a little skinnier. I have the same thumb as him. I have a very flat thumb. It's a little skinnier than his. Thanks for your time. My a little pleasure. skintier. Hey, Shelby from Mobile. From Mobile, Mobile, Alabama. That's my pop socket. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Never a doll moment. Dolly the doll's porpoise must do certain things to survive. Whoa! Use your keyboard arrows to make sure she she ate. She run she doesn't run out of air. And so I was reading a never mind, that's a Debbie Downer. I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I'll do hard. Well, I was reading about whales and when they get sad. They took my pop socket. Did I select hard? I think I selected hard. Do they eat fish? And we don't like orcas. Oh, uh oh, I gotta breathe. Giant squid at that altitude? At that depth, I, d I said I don't think so. Did I select hard? Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Just belly up. Hey, Deirdre, how is it going? I think those are, those are ocean mines. I think those are ocean mines. Like, that's death. I barely that's <laughs> death. 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 It's all death. A nuclear missile. Do we see the nuclear missile? Did we all see it? I don't think I could, should probably, oh! <laughs> that is not the truth. Easy mode. By the way, the you music tried. stopped, so I hope you enjoy <laughs> listening to the Munch Munch Crunchies. Of <laughs> okay, I didn't hit that direction, so this not that's not true. I'll do better next time. Oh, I have to do it. It's a punch card thing. Do I have to do it? Sad. Just nuclear bombs in that ocean. Are these the same video game? Thanks, Anonymous, for that. I appreciate it. 
Oh, Gigi, thank you for the bits again. Oh, Maple Trees, 13 months. Good to see you. Hilda Swenson, 11 months. Good to see you as well. I'm trying to catch up with these. I apologize. Phlebotanist, good to see you. It is a real legend. That's interesting. Megaptera Nova Angeli is a scientific name. I would say Grey Whip. Did that mean it was right or wrong? I think that means it's wrong. Sea mammals have been trained by the- This is it! This is where I got the idea that it was a Russian dolphin. Extremely intelligent. Okay, so that's the sound it makes when they're right. And the whales, the orcas move a little bit. Orcas are called killer whales. Whales. They are killed by what? No, no, no. They kill and eat other whales. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I chose the one that said they're very handsome. Wait. Would that mean that killers are handsome? Okay, they have more than one blowhole. Mink whales have dorsal fins that are shaped like... Oh. The di it's different questions? The diet of tooth... Tooth... Oh, it's abalone. Oh. The throats of baleen whales commonly seen around Decepcion Island are always... Probably scarred. Oh. An example of a baleen whale is... Oh. All of those. Tooth whales do not possess... I don't think any whales have vocal cords. They definitely, they have a really good sense of smell. External ears. Oh. Individual orcas are identified by markings on their dorsal fins. I know that. A baleen whale consumes food by straining. Um, straining great mouthfuls. I know. Can I tell y'all this right now? Baleen whales, have you ever seen? They are the scariest looking mouths I've ever seen. And have you ever seen them up close? Needles. What is that? I'll play again. I'll get lucky one of these times, don't worry. Needles. The process of seeing objects. Oh, uh, echolocation. Whales can hold their breath for... All right, chat, spill the tea. Yeah, we're... Well, I wouldn't say we're learning. It doesn't even tell me the right answer. <laughs> Kit Kat Boss, thank you for the bits. Whitney, thank you so much again. Glad you got to be here. Paper Doll, 40 oh. months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So who said hours? Girl Detective, Alakazam, Titan Girl. All gave me the wrong answers. Anxious Bulbasaur, thank oh. you for the 32 months. Diamond Lake, thank you again. I appreciate it. I'll name them and sh we're naming and shaming today. Just naming and shaming. Whales can dive a depth of probably hundreds. The whale that lacks, okay, humpbacks. They don't have a dorsal fin, do they? Orcas do, because they look like sharks. <laughs> I was copying. You should never copy your homework. You'll never learn anything. It's humpback, right? The orca whale is... Okay, we're just gonna back out of 
that started again. Okay, we're starting to get the same ones again. I'm learning too. Oh. The best part about learning. You can't learn without being wrong. Thank you. The cetacean, cetacean that can swim the fastest is, that's... I got that, I guess the exact same thing as I did last time, so we have to get them all correct now. Sea mammals including dolphins, killer oh, they're extremely intelligent. Orcas are called killer wares because, it's not because they're handsome, by the way. By the way, I clicked this one last time, and it's not because they're handsome. <laughs> I want you to sit down, I want you to shut up, and I want you to learn something. Thank you, sassy chef. I appreciate it. What's harder, the whale quiz or Rosetta Stone? The whale quiz. Because Rosetta Stone helps me learn intuitively. They kill and eat other whales. Where are these whales? How many blowholes do ba baleen whales... Baleen, great name. Kind of like Jolene. Mink, minky whales, minky mouse whales have a dorsal fin shaped like... It's a sickle. God bless. Thank y'all so much. I swam to freedom. Thank y'all so much. I had, I had swam to freedom. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Do I just have to? I think this is not a puzzle, right? The I center, just... you've been able to hear the sounds different. Oh, this is a thing. To see just how good your memory is, press a button. Listen to the sound that plays. Then press the button of the cetacean that made the sound. If you've made a correct match, the button lights will stay on. I kind of the remember them. Um... You've matched them all. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to take another language learning break. Before I learned the language of the whales. Great transition. I'm going to turn on some hi-fi and we're going to do another language learning break uh, with Rosetta Stone real quick. So. Here's my hi-fi music. I said, where's my hi-fi music? I'm going to show y'all another lesson. Uh, and I'm going to tell you about Rosetta Stone. Then we're going to uh, do more of our Spanish lesson. So as you can see, if you're on Twitch, Rosetta Stone uses a dynamic immersion approach to learning languages. They've been wonderful enough to partner with me for another Nancy Drew stream. Uh, so instead of memorizing translations, you're learning more naturally. Uh, you're learning through pictures, native hearing native speakers, uh, interactive activities, you're speaking yourself, uh, it, and it really sets you up to be conversation ready. So I've still been doing my French lessons. Let me pull up the, here's all of the languages. Of course, there's 25 different languages. I'm doing French, Amelie. Uh, Justin is still learning Japanese because he loves Japanese movies, entertainment. Uh, and we're using Rosetta Stone on PC today, but you can use it on computer, tablet, Phone. I usually use the app in bed to do my language lessons because you kind of set your own schedule. Uh, so we are going to go back to, let me move the chat over here. We are going to be doing more of our Spanish lesson. It was just getting to some speaking. So this is my Spanish plan, which if y'all remember, uh, Spanish Latin American, um, we started on core lesson three because I told Rosetta Stone, I've learned a little bit of Spanish already. Um, don't not tell me I'm muted in the middle of this. So we're gonna um, continue my current progress where we picked up, where we left off from. One, two, three, four, five. Not password, not password, one, two, three. Leo Chino. Escribo Chino. Leo Español. Wait, I'm going to need more time for this one. 
um, reading Chinese. I'm getting back into it. I need to retrain my brain real quick. Uh, writing Chinese. So he is um, writing Spanish. So escribo espanol. Escribo espanol. Escribo espanol. And that's that's what I'm talking about with the um, the pronunciation engine. It shows you how well you're pronouncing Esta things. This muchacha is de Rusia. This girl is from Russia. Esta and niña see, es de Japón. I'm glad I st I'm glad Rosetta Stone asked me where I would like to start with my Spanish lessons because. Let's just say I'm eating right now. I did remember, indeed remember a little, but it's just enough so that I'm still having to process these. I'm still listening to the native speaker, working on my pronunciation and kind of remembering these things as well. Uh, the girl is from Japan, so the map is showing me Japan. Este niño es de Colombia. This boy is from Colombia. I think that's... I also need a geography lesson, actually. <laughs> este hombre es de Australia. Thank you, Widrums! I know a little Spanish. I know more Spanish than I do, uh, probably German. Uh, this man is from Australia. Los perros, los gatos y los caballos son animales. The dogs, the cats, and the horses are animals. The dogs, the cats, the horses. Los hombres, las mujeres, los niños <laughs> y las niñas son personas. I should have listened in geography class. <laughs> no one can help me now. Uh, los hombres, las mujeres, los niños y las niñas son personas. Are people. So now we're, it's the people, the persons. Este this, es un animal. Este es un animal. So I need to work este on the pronunciation a little bit. But I'm doing pretty good. Esta es una persona. Esta es una persona. Esta es una persona. So now... Estos son animales. Estos son animales. Our first few lessons were Estos son animales. matching pictures and stuff. Estas son personas. Estas son personas. Now we're getting into the talking. Estas son personas. Making Peggy Hill proud. Also, I wanted to show this as well. Let me go back to my home. We're going to be doing more language learning lessons throughout the stream. But also, so I'll show you all this in just a second, of course. Um, if I go to my Spanish Latin America lessons, there's whole other tabs, y'all. Explore all content. Look at this. You've got live lectures on sports. You've got on-demand videos, sound like a native speaker, Spanish accents and dialects, Mexican slang. You've got stories. You've got phrase books just for a quick, if you need to know something real quick. They've got a whole bunch of resources. Um, and... With my code, you can type exclamation point uh, Rosetta Stone in the chat right now. Uh, it's on my About tab. If you click on the image or if you're watching on YouTube, it is uh, in the description. But you are getting over 60% off with that link, over 60% off the lifetime subscription, which is a really great deal. Uh, like I said, that gives you access to all 25 languages. Um, you never pay renewal fee. Sorry, slap the microphone. Get access to all the languages. And with a lifetime subscription, you can learn at your own pace. You can revisit them as much as you want. And at the end of the stream, stay tuned because I will be giving away a code for a year of Rosetta Stone. So stick around for that. Also, as y'all mentioned, as I play uh, the transition, great for gifting, great gift ideas. It's a pretty big day for, it's a pretty big season for looking for gifts. So definitely check it out. Exclamation point Rosetta Stone in the chat. Thanks to them for uh, 
partnering with me again because they're freaking awesome and I really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing more uh, language learning lessons throughout the stream as well. And you'll see. We'll see how much I remember of Spanish and um, how well Rosetta Stone is helping me pick it back up and having me learn more as well. We love to see it. Well, and now I'm going to try to learn about whales, the language of whales, which Rosetta Stone doesn't offer learning whale. You, we'll leave that to Nancy Drew Danger on Deception Island. <laughs> I'm not going to be good at this. One of them sounded like a backed up toilet. That one sounds like a... <laughs> it's still going. It's still going. Oh, yeah, it makes a perfect gift for yourself, too. This is the one I said, if on the off chance I ever fail, fail in the ocean. I think that was... Nope. <laughs> well... Yeah, it wasn't that one. It was something, something else. This one sounds like the wax ring came off the toilet. Oh. Nope. Nope. That humpback. Nope. <laughs> Obviously a minky. Obviously a minky. Orca. Orca. That's a porpoise. Doll, doll's porpoise. That's a humpback. I know now because I remembered it, hearing that. In the ocean. Can you imagine? So, under the ocean. Do y'all know about under the ocean? You can feel the sounds. And can you imagine that happening right beside you? And you f feel that? That terrifies me. Ooh, I love this. Ooh. I'll need to win all the games first. You feel that rumbling. Is this whack-a-mole? The whales are hunky when they surface. Give them a fish. Yum. Yum. It's whack. Yum. This is the. Yum. Yum. This is the politically Yum. correct Yum. version of whack-a-mole with whales. <laughs> oh. Yum. Mama, the whales went Yum. hungry for a Yum. while. I'll tell you right now, I'm playing this game at 640 by 480 the way God intended. And it's small, it's very small on my screen. Okay, I won whatever that was. I'll tell you right now, the mouse doesn't have to move far. <laughs> Is this the one I need to do? Oh. Do you know what, chat? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, Pasta Queenie. We're doing this on hard, aren't we? Because we're playing this on Senior Detective. My real opinions on whales, they ate. Well, here's a question for you. Because I, because, so we evolved on land. Did, did they evolve back into the water? I believe. It was a reversal. It's the remix. Whales, they want it back in. Well, mammals evolved out of the ocean and then they used, and then they went back. I'm gonna die of oxygen. Uh -oh. <laughs> no one had to tell me, I just felt it. 
love whales, but I do think they got it wrong living in the ocean. I do think that they're wrong for that. I think that's making it harder on themselves. That's just my opinion. I think they're really making it hard on themselves. If imagine living in the thing that you can't breathe. I live in air and I breathe air and that's a match made in heaven. Do you know what I mean? Unstoppable. We're an, me and air, an unstoppable pair. Me and water? Trying to breathe underwater? Falling asleep, taking a five hour nap and drowning? That's what I thought, Jonas. See, I said something smart and then I got attacked. <laughs> See, I was smart and then I got attacked. I'm doing really well this time. How long does this go on for? We ship me with air. Oh, I did it on hard mode. I didn't lose a single life. Oh no, I'm done. You can't trick me into playing that again. Nobody's tricking me into playing that again. You always win the same thing here. Oh, the price is right. Have your pet spayed or neutered. That's a good sound. I won the whale watching tour. All right. Was that, was I always going to win that? There was never like a. Hi, Nancy. I won a free whale watching tour. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. I'm ready, I'm when, ready you when you are. A first date tour. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, I don't remember this at all. He has a deception map too. I wish they played the Titanic theme song on this part. Wait, if we're whale watching, none of these are whales. Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you for the great tour and for letting me use your camera. My pleasure. Can I ask y'all, what kind of waterproof paint did they use when they painted that Russian dolphin to look like that? Because that paint would come off in the ocean. Waterproof paint. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Drop by again. The real reason I'm replaying this one is to make y'all so mad. Did I get my free keychain? Sorry, I'm attempting to click things. That's what I do. That's who I am. Is that okay? Miss, please don't touch that. I'll fix it. Hmm. I'll fix it. Can I fix that? Hi, Nancy. Oh. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Which one has been my favorite to replay? I don't know. Probably Manette. Because it's just so unhinged. All right. Let's go dig up some crabs. Let's go dig up some crabs. This bike sounds like it's about to shake apart, by the way. I liked Waverly, too. Geisha Girl, thank you for the bits. What whale would you have been a million years ago? How would I have been something a million years ago when the world's only 2,000 years old? <laughs> yeah, I did crash on the bike already. Um, I would have been... Well, did all of these same whales still exist back then? Is it just today's whales, but a million years ago? I don't 
exactly know what types of whales existed a million years ago, but that wasn't that long ago in the grand scheme of things. Yuck, I'm not picking them up. Okay, Rich. She said, I'm too rich to pick These up. This would be great for rock skipping. I already have some rocks. Too rich to pick up dead fish? Back in my day. I already have some rocks. Dinosaurs were definitely more than a million years ago. That is the female crab, is it not? Oh. I guess that crab lives with me now. Oh, where am I? SS. Maybe this broke off from a ship. Um, I would have been the the um oh, so, whichever whale's the skinniest. Thanks, Fiona. I would I would have been whichever whale's the skintiest. I've already got a crab. Remember, eyes open, mouth shut. Did she just murder the crab? Are you okay? So skinty. I'm never okay. Thank you for the sticker though. Super junior trash. Why did she say that about that crab? That's the male crab! That's the male crab. I recognize those abs anywhere. Can I go ahead and give him the crab? I have to give him the thing. She said eyes closed, mouth up. Did she eat it? Did she? Did she eat that crab raw? You are not getting me with the one crab, one blooper bit. Why did she say that if she wasn't eating it? I'm gonna get in trouble here. That's so me. Can we stop this? No. Someone was whistling outside our window today, and I almost <laughs> rolled up the for like 20 minutes. And like, uh oh. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing. Piggy was which mad. Means keep out. I was which mad. Means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just now. Girly? He can't tell me what to do. I'm still do. I'm. I went right back in here. Uh oh. <laughs> Go. All right. One more time. Go. I don't know. That's fun. That's fun. Um, should I skip the rocks? What if they just, what if the rocks just want to walk? Should I skip the rocks? Because what if they just want to walk? No one ever asked the rocks what they wanted to do. Um, I should probably figure out the rest of the answers to these questions. Let's go to Katie's boat. We're close by anyway. Dear Drew Shan, thank you for the 14 months, uh, by the way. Appreciate that. Killing Trolls, thank you again for the bids. Orcas are the number one predator of the moose. 
Moose eat the whales? Or the whales eat the moose? Is there vi videos on What's TikTok? Up? I only uh, learn about history from TikTok. <laughs> Your boyfriend told you that. Sounds like Holt Scotto was the... Oh, yeah, I talked to Sounds Holt. Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. We're not voting for Holt, I take it. I talked to Jenna Deblin when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Do you two not like each other or something? Nancy's she doesn't like picking me, it up, finally. Sure. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. Nancy said, wait. Not from the big city. I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. We that stab her in the hand it with it. It looks like it's been in the water a long time. But if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. When we handed that to her, did we stab it through her hand? I think we stabbed it through her hand. It's a pretty big day for Katie Firestone. Does anything about it look familiar to you? No, not to me. But it might to someone else I know. Ooh, if Casey this were Survivor, who would y'all vote off the island? He in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. Call case. Call. Call. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. Well, you can't get off. Wait, can Nancy not leave the island? She has a bicycle. She can't leave the island. Did I try 911? Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone? Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. Oh, I forgot about him. Nicholas Harbor. Oh, well, then what can I do for This you? guy. Yeah, Fiona, the Rosetta Stone code is evergreen. Code is evergreen. Just type exclamation point Rosetta Stone. It's also in my about section. Or if you're on the YouTube VOD. Well, YouTube VOD will be in the description. She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is... What, what if someone said. had just written, oh, like... well, then it came from a ship. Or should I say, shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? What if it, some, someone had just written Mississippi? That has two S's that are together. Or, um, what's another word that has two S's together? Um, not salad. <laughs> There's other words that have S's together. Missouri? Sassy, boss, assume, any of those. I don't is, know. It's old, old, old wood. <laughs> Sorry, for a second there, I thought you said old. Actually, uh, that is what I said. She said, You're yeah, I called you old. Beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're going to have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. As soon as you do, call me back. I love checking oh, out stuff Oh, do like I get this. to organize the books? This is my favorite puzzle in any Nancy Drew game. I dream about this puzzle. Y'all don't even know. It's the, it's the easiest, dumbest, whatever puzzle in the whole world. Very unoriginal. Blah, 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 blah. What's up? When I tell you, you about this puzzle. Be careful out there. <laughs> when I tell you about this puzzle. I remember doing it and loving it. Wait. Where do I get the books? Are they not under here? Can I? Can I please? Oh, never mind. I found something else more fun.
Never mind, this is even more fun. Oh, they're inside the boat? Oh, chat, how many honks till I get an Easter egg? Stop. <laughs> Who did that? Grill detective. <laughs> This is exactly the type of thing y'all would roll up in here. Honk. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Thank you for the honk. Girl detective. Y'all would roll up in here and tell me I need to honk it exactly 323 times. 323 three cool times. Story. <laughs> we all make choices. But that was a choice. 323 three times in order to get an Easter egg. And I love eggs. Boiled. Oh, it's up there. Apparently yes. a saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Thanks, Mommy, Quantum Pocket and Ryan. If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. I would love to put these back in the drawer. I'm... Okay. This What's same puzzle. The, well, there's a similar puzzle. Is this one harder on Senior Detective? I love organizing things. We played that game where we had to organize those people's houses. And I lived, laughed, loved. Every moment of that. I, I mean, I liked this puzzle, but I don't remember how to do it. Just by the way. By the way, loved it. No memory of it. Volunteer at a... I would love to volunteer at a library if I had time. But I don't. I'm busy. I'm on the go. I'm busy. I have things to do. I'm on the go. I have errands. Tomorrow I have to go to UPS. That's going to take at least five hours. <laughs> Tomorrow, in fact, I have to go to UPS. It's going to take at least five hours out of my day. Um, is it? I'm, I didn't. I asked a question, then I didn't even look at the chat. Is this one harder on Senior Detective? I'll look at the chat now. I think I've heard of a little to the left. Love deviled eggs, but like. The devil? <laughs> I love deviled eggs, but like. The devil? In my eggs? Angel that, oh my god, I probably know people who would call it angeled eggs instead. How many people were scared? Oh, me too. I was really, really scared. Love deviled eggs, but the devil? This is going to take me like a while, just so y'all know. I, but I am having, I'm going to have fun with it because that's what I do. That's just so me. I like to have fun. They're not fitting together as well as I thought they would. But that's fine. But that's fine. Oh, that de that's done. I'm never touching that stack. <laughs> Thanks, so lost. Well, the devil. Is is he inside the eggs? Y'all, I just did the puzzle. Ooh. Oh no, do these ones go down here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
I have an idea, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, these need to be moved ever so slightly. No. Okay, I mean, this is how it goes. It's just weaseling it in. <gasps> Microscopic tracheid analysis. Good I work. Like You're I a natural. Thank you, girl detective. I love that puzzle. I just love it. That puzzle did not take me an hour last time. Here and here's the T. Here's the T with with puzzle me doing puzzles in Nancy Drew games. People start getting impatient after two minutes. <laughs> People, people start getting impatient after two minutes of me being in a puzzle in a Nancy Drew game. Oh, I don't know if this book is for me, but maybe if I get okay, hair commercial. Call, she can help me out. Oh, I don't know if this book is for me, but maybe if I give Dr. Predovicu a call, she can help me out. The National Wood Laboratory. Let's save it in case the game explodes. Sometimes I notice the mouse moving a little slowly and it worries me. Is that picture from another one? There's a slide puzzle coming up. Why don't I remember that? Is there really? This is Dr. Predovicu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, Absolutely no to that, Thursday. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible hey, Sherry. to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds, and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. Oops, I better go do that. I'll call you right back. Google thought I said something to it. What was I screaming? Hey, Google, stop it. Oh. <laughs> that one was talking and then that one started talking. Oh, what'd she say? Oh, I need to look in a microscope. <laughs> Plunk. Clunk this down. What did I say that got Google talking? Old Bell Switch, thank you for all those bits, by the way. I saw you trying to get that bit bits badge. Hard hard words to say. Super Junior Trash, thank you for the bits. You're just in time to learn. Joe's Mayonnaise, thank you for the bits, too. Good to see you. Boo890, eight, eight months. I do appreciate it. Good to see you. And Gonzo, thank you for that first time uh, sub. Welcome, welcome. Great to have one you here. One slice of wood. One glass slide. Uh-oh. Y'all don't know this about me. But I'm a wood expert. There. This is going to look so cool under the microscope. But I'm a wood expert. Let's have a look. Oh, this isn't wood. This is, um, s skin. I don't know how to use these old maiden type of phones. Irina Predovicu speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. I've got the sample all ready. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this? Monica, I've been it's kicking ass wood. with the puzzles. Probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Let me check. Let me check. 
is the I'd, wood sample I'd call black, it brownish, brown right? Yellow. Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Oh, sh... Let me check. I'd say a reddish brown. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? It has a lot. Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are <laughs> they all the same size? I think they're all the same size. Let me look one more time. Let me check. The, all the holes are about the and same size. are there size. some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. All those okay. holes are so and skinny. The holes are really, really tiny, right? Well, yeah, I'm looking at them under a microscope. Is she having a go? Is she having a laugh? Of course they're tiny. I'm looking at them under a microscope. Yes. Well, unfortunately, I can't ID the sample because that description accounts for a lot of different woods. Beech, sycamore, alder, maple, you name it. Please check your sample again. Goodbye. Don't you dare hang up on me. <laughs> Wood Labs, Irina speaking. Don't Hi, this is you... Nancy Drew again. Do you think you can I did the same thing last time. That wood sample for well. me? I'm sorry, but my policy is to limit free wood sample identifications to one per person. Could you please make an exception in my case? It's kind of an emergency. I'll tell you what. I'm doing a study on the side that focuses on problem solving. I'm collecting data by having people solve the puzzle that's on the website. I will this boat to your if lab. And when you solve it, I'll give you another free wood ID. Go to www.pregnancy.lab <gasps> slash consult dot htm. Good luck. That's the slider puzzle. I never learn. I answered. First of all, I answered all those questions amazingly. First of all, I answered all her questions. For, I'm going to go do that slide puzzle. Well, I'm probably going to go do it and then have a breakdown and then reload the game. But I'm going to try it at first. How do you use the internet? <laughs> all right, that one's in the right place. First of all, it's a lion with wings. Anyone can see that. I probably shouldn't do all the outside corners first. Oh my God, I almost did. W would y'all just, would y'all just scream if I got this just now? Oh, I actually need those to be reversed. Hmm. Would y'all just, I would punch a hole in the wall and it's a uh, plaster. Not you think I messed up on move three. You can't mess up a slide puzzle. They're already messed up. I mean, I just totally did those in the same way again. Oh yeah, I'll look on them. I'll punch a hole in the wall and say, what about these holes? Are these all the same size? No, now I'm determined because we've got... Can someone do a roll call of all the haters right now? Can we get a roll call of all the haters in the chat right now? Because I know there's several, in fact. Oh, it's so close! What the fuck is that piece doing? Can we do a poll? How many, what percent of the chats are haters? Okay, so this one needs to go. Y'all are about to be real mad. Oh, shit. Okay, I know what I do. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Because the last one that needs to go in the rotation 
is the tail, I think. Oh. I just did him in a circle again. You tried. Mm -mm, and I'm still trying. It's like, I know what I have to do, but I'm too dumb to do it. We all make choices. But that was a choice. Sad. Why are those stickers underneath the bar? Anyway, thanks for it, that girl detective and also for Alakazam. Oh, let me unplug my tens machine <laughs> and walk away. Oh, I'm tangled. I didn't punch a hole in the wall. I'm not ruining my walls. I'm not ruining my walls. I didn't just get lucky. Ooh, haters. Ooh, haters. I'm gonna save it on this screen. Well, and actually I'm gonna screenshot this screen as well. Oh, why doesn't it say I won? Oh. I thought there was a screen Good that said work. you win. You're a natural. Thanks, Diamond Lake. I appreciate it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll mess up again just so I get to do another slide puzzle. No, I don't have to do it again since this I just saved. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Could you try to identify to that wood sample for me again? Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? All right, how about y'all just give me the answers this time? It's brownish. Brownish. Brown, brown, or brown, reddish? It's brown, reddish, right? Yeah, I would like to know. Is it the whole part that I got incorrect? Brown, reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size, aren't they? They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? Let me tell you about science. Let me get my TENS unit. <laughs> cord over here. Let me tell you, let me tell you about science. This is a leading question. The holes are really, really tiny, right? She's trying to make me answer a certain way. This is what we call a leading question. This is not how we ask questions in science. And also, I don't That's know. That's a deep, dark hole. Thanks, yeah. Pasta Queenie. And, yeah, I have cool no story. reference for what a big hole, some little hole, is. No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Let me check. What does distinguishable mean? Yeah, there's horizontal lines. Is there not then horizontal? you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. She are decided she had to say this again. Are there horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber. So got it. Thanks for your help. Here. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Luann. 
Great name. <laughs> what? Quantum Pocket, thank you for the uh, gift sub, by the way. I appreciate it. Fatal Amnesia, thank you for the bits. Good to see you. Oh, we're having a regular old Tuesday. You know how it is. Alakazam, thank you again for the bits. Jenna Devlin, uh, 20 months. Thank you so much. Great to see you. What's up? See you in a bit. Have fun. I don't even remember why I'm on this boat anymore. I need to do the quiz. Okay, Cat Moss, thank you for the bits again. Dumb Google Homes, I tell you. Mine's gone rogue. Ryan, thank you for the bits. Oh my god, Justin got a color e-ink tablet. Justin is obsessed with e-ink displays. But I would get, well, as long as it, I can't have a content phone. That's e-ink. Let me tell you. But that, I, I look at the e-ink phones. They're, I don't think I could stand it. Flora Fawn, thank you for the 18 uh, months. Good to see you. I appreciate that. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? E-ink. E-ink. What a Kindle is? Book? Do y'all know about books? I don't know why I'm leaning in like this. <laughs> you know, your clam chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Mmm. Mmm, that was delicious. You know about books? Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's like words made out of trees. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it though? It's like a, it's like if a tree could talk. <laughs> oh my god, books are trees talking to. Us. <laughs> Is that true? Is that true? Trees are like vegetables, but bigger and harder. Constant crisis. Thank you for the two months. I feel that. I feel that constant crisis. Alakazam, thanks again for the bits. Not like that. You again? You were right to yell at me. <laughs> telling him he was right to yell at me i'm sorry for trespassing like that so what do you want oh i've got a i've got a male crab i think let's have a look right as rain just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free i'll take care of the crab for you see you he, around he picks Watch up that crab Kenny. and he takes a bite out of it like it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich didn't even take a gummy today <laughs> Just feeling myself today. He takes a bite out of it like it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Y'all, someone needs to tell the British about peanut butter and jelly. Because if I watch one more episode of Great British Bake Off and they act like peanut butter and jelly is the most exotic thing in the world. Paul Hollywood, every time... I know, I'm telling this same story again. Because it blows my mind. Paul Hollywood, someone will be like, I'm, oh, I'm making my flavors this week are peanut butter and jelly. And then Paul Hollywood is always like, what? It blows his mind. And I understand it's, it's a very, you know, North American thing that we grew up eating. But it's not like you're eating. It's it's not like you you dove mil, uh, two million miles under the ocean, grabbed a, a squid, a deep sea squid, and ate it raw, and put honey on it. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. No, it's good. It's a great mix. And I'll tell you too, P 
peanut butter and banana. I heard Elvis loved those. I went to a diner once and they told me that Elvis, I don't remember where the diner was. It might have been somewhere Elvis was originally. And I don't know where he was. But I went to this diner <laughs> and they told me that Elvis liked peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Oh, he liked them fried. Oh, I don't fry them, but I do toast them. Peanut butter and honey's good too, a little too sweet. What is this story time? This story time is me procrastinating doing this. <laughs> I don't want to do a quiz. I graduated from school and I'm done with it. I said no more. I said not on my watch. Uh, dear chat, do I have access to all the information to answer the questions on this quiz? <laughs> 334. 334 people I just held hostage to listen to that story about peanut butter and jelly. I have all the information. Oh. Well, then let's just do it. Well, then let's just do the quiz together. If y'all know it. Uh, the current font. So here's a, ooh, this is gonna be fun. Y'all say higher or lower. <laughs> 100. We're gonna start the bidding for the, the current fine for clamming without a permit. We're gonna go for 100. Higher. Um, 120. Higher or lower? 120. 140. It's not an even number. Well, that's the that's the point of this game. It, it'll get us there. I don't remember the last number I said, by the way. $400. Do we have $400? Where's my gavel? Oh, it's, it's, I put it away. $400. Higher! No, it's not. Huh. <gasps> it is a point something. Yeah, way lower. A, uh, 80. 80. 180 dollars. Oh, over 120 lower than one. I thought it wasn't. You know what? I'll just go look at Will World. But I will say that was great for engagement. <laughs> it's on the poster behind him at Will World, isn't it? I will say that was great for engagement. Lower than 120, but over 140. Can't check that off yet. <laughs> It's $138 and I knew I knew exactly where it was. But we had fun. Oh how we laughed. Oh how we laughed. 138.43. You tapped 188.44. Or someone did. Yeah, that was my next guess, too. Anyway. A peanut butter and jelly sounds so good. If I unsub, do you have to pay me? No, and I won't. And I would never. <laughs> I'm not that girl. <sighs> I'm losing it. Perfect. Hold on, I've got Google Lens on my phone. Won't it, does Google Lens do Morris code? Oh, it sure does not, that's a hateful. It says vote for hope, doesn't it? Wrong. Oh. 
A schooner with at least... Oh, y'all, this is mass. Very good. That's pronounced cricket, isn't it? And not cry cut. Why is that pronounced that way? And not the way that I think it should be. Where's the book about knots? Oh, let's look at this. Hey, Jenna, it was good to visit you last month. Boy, do I miss that clam chowder. Can you send me the recipe? It's nice that she has family. Yeah, I do want to know. It's on the laptop. Oh, oh my God. Probably a lot of this information is on the laptop. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? I forgot about computers. I don't take my computer with me on vacation, so. I leave my work at home when I'm on vacation. Nancy clearly doesn't have healthy boundaries with work. I forgot about computers. I'm on vacation. Now, I will have my content phone with me over the holidays. <laughs> and my iPad mini. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I will have my content phone. It is so... <gasps> Over the holidays, especially, it's so important to be making content. Some people don't get enough content over the holidays, and it's so important to keep making content. Oh, speaking of, before Nancy gets on her computer, let me get on my computer, and we're going to have another Rosetta Stone language learning break. So that means hi-fi. great transition. Well, if I get these transitions right. There it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, another language learning break. I am ready. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Rosetta Stone again. Of course, you can type exclamation point Rosetta Stone during the stream whenever you want. Uh, so Rosetta Stone uses a dynamic immersion approach to learning languages, which you will see in our Spanish lesson, lesson right now. So you're not just memorizing translations, you're learning more naturally. You're having, you're hearing native speakers, you're speaking yourself, you're uh, doing pictures, seeing pictures, seeing actual images of the stuff that you're learning. Um, I'm still doing the French lessons. Today I am showing you Spanish lessons. Um, Justin still doing Japanese because he loves Japanese movies and entertainment. Um, and we are doing this like Nancy on her laptop right now. I'm on my computer at this exact moment in time. Uh, but you can use Rosetta Stone on tablet, phone. I, I like the app a lot. I usually use it in bed before sleep is when I do my lessons. Um, so I'm going to show y'all some of my favorite features. So we're 52% through our core lesson 3.1, by the way. Um, and I'm going to continue my current progress. This is the um, Spanish Latin America lessons. And they're getting, I will say this, we're getting up to the point probably where it's um, really starting to train my brain. I'm starting to learn the new stuff because I started my Spanish lessons a little further along, which Rosetta Stone lets you do if you already know a little Spanish. I'm gonna continue my current progress, unlike uh, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Las personas de Egipto hablan árabe. Las personas de Egipto hablan árabe. Las personas de Egipto hablan árabe. Las personas de China hablan chino. Las personas de China hablan chino. Las personas de China hablan Hearing chino. Hearing the native speakers really helps. Las personas helps. de Colombia hablan español. 
Las personas de Colombia hablan español. Las personas de Colombia hablan español. It really does help hearing the native speakers. Las personas de Australia hablan inglés. Las personas de Australia hablan inglés. See, Las personas de this Australia is what I knew hablan inglés. That I was a little worse on that one. And the uh, language learning engine, the pronunciation engine, shows me. Uh, ooh, and now we're matching again. Shows me that, you know, maybe I didn't say Australia the best. Bingo. And so I know that's something to work on. Congrats on your bingo. <laughs> uh, this animal is from Australia. Doesn't doesn't speak English. This man is from Australia. He speaks English. This woman is from China and speaks Chinese. So here we can see she's marked on the map. Esta mujer es as de being China. from China. Habla chino. Este animal es de China. No habla chino. It is interesting because, so I told y'all, I, I took Spanish in high school and it feels like this is helping me like un, unlock it again and learn more because I, I don't remember learning countries and languages, um, vocabulary. And right now, since I already know like this animal, this woman, this man, it's building on what I knew. So this was kind of the perfect starting point. Um, so it's this man is from Australia. I don't have a German dictionary. I speak este a little German myself. Australia. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. And I don't need a German dictionary because I've got Rosetta Stone, which does give me, um, like I showed y'all on the Explore All content, all of the little guidebooks as well. Hello. This is an animal from Australia and it does not speak English. <laughs> Este animal es de Australia. This animal's no from Australia. And it does not speak English. Have I missed any of this stuff? I'm going to jinx myself. Esta persona habla chino. Esta persona habla chino. Esta persona I habla love chino. these ones where I get to talk. Esta persona habla árabe. Esta persona habla árabe. I need to work on that a little bit habla too. Árabe. Esta persona habla inglés. Esta persona habla inglés. Esta persona habla inglés. Esta persona habla español. Esta persona habla español. Esta persona habla We español. It. Honestly, I do love talking. Well, it just makes it so... Okay, that's all I'm going to do for this language lesson. It makes it so... Like, I don't know, when you're just learning through a, a, reading something on the page and not hearing it, it's a lot harder. And you don't, well, you're never going to hear it that way. So you just don't ever know how you're supposed to be saying it in the first place. Which I think about that with English a lot. I was thinking about the word close and close and how they're spelled the same. That's a different story for another time. Um, I'll show you right now. Exclamation point Rosetta Stone in the chat. You can also go to my about page, click on the picture, or if in, if you're on YouTube, the link is in the description. Uh, you will see you have over 60% off today. Lifetime subscription, MSRP $399. Mark down with clicking my link, $149. One-time payment. And that gets you um, access to all 25 languages. Uh, you don't have to pay a renewal fee. You get all the languages. You can learn at your own pace. You can revisit them whenever you want. Um, so definitely great deal right there. Uh, so use the link. It's an evergreen link. Come back to this. Great as gifts, as we've been saying. Great as gifts. Even just giving them the code is a great gift. You can say, hey, I saved you over 60%. You're welcome. Um, and after the stream, we will, of course, be doing another giveaway. Rosetta Stone's been awesome in partnering with me and giving me a code to do a giveaway for a one-year activation. So very excited about that. Stay tuned. We'll be doing more um, language learning lessons as well. We love to see it. I'm excited where, it, where it's going. 
I actually learned a lot about um the I'm learning a lot of vocabulary for geography, which I don't remember learning in school in my Spanish lessons. So that is really cool. Oh, perfect timing with the with the high five too. Oh, that's right. Then there's the code. One more time. All right, back to <laughs> I forgot to turn that off after the transition. Back to Nancy's laptop. Oh my gosh. What if we could What if they built a computer? How long is today's stream? Uh another couple hours. What if Nancy's computer was actually <laughs> save the game before it crashes? I got it. A real computer and we could use Rosetta Stone inside Nancy's laptop. Oh my gosh. What if we could go to Twitch in Nancy's laptop and Nancy could watch me doing a Rosetta Stone lesson inside the game? Now, Mama, that's language immersion. Now that is immersion. Morris! What's the deal with Morris code? Samuel Morris invented the telegraph, which my ancestor, Alexander Graham Bell, took a big old dump on. Um, device similar to 1837, developed universal code. This stream could have been Morris code. This could have just been Morse code. Oh, let me translate this. Uh, no, that was uh, the Morris. You don't know a Morris? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking pictures of this, so I don't have to keep opening this paper. So it's a dot, 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 dash. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my gosh, they separated it between two pages. Oh, because there's that many letters in the alphabet. <laughs> I was thinking about the words close and close, and they're spelled the same, and they almost sound identical, and I think that's wild. Close, because you wouldn't say close the door, but who would know that? Who would play her? But who would play her? Is Morris in the room with us? Is Morris in the room with us? So it's a V. Wait! Does it really just say vote? It literally is vote. Vote. And then what's that one? Four dots and a dash. Oh my gosh, it's the number four. Correct. Ooh, I hated that. All right, now I just need to know about knots. Uh, humans actually invented rope. I just learned that. By twisting or braiding. I'm this close, but not this close to composing a strongly word. <laughs> I'm this close, but not this close. Because that's just spelled the same, but means something different and it's pronounced slightly different. Well, see, Eric, how was I supposed to know? It's a figure eight. It's not. Now, what does it look like? Let me memorize this knot. <laughs> it's that one. 
This is a fisherman's knot. Wrong. Perfect. What kind of knot is this? I don't know why I'm looking at my inventory. It's a bend. It's a bend. That should do it. I love parsing information from the internet and then applying it to things that I'm doing. Are you okay, Katie? Okay. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Sorry about your wig. Hate your hair. Hope you lose. <laughs> Sorry about your wig. He ate the crab, and then I talked about... And he bit into the crab, and then I talked about peanut butter and jelly for 20 minutes. <laughs> and then I talked about peanut butter and jelly for 20 minutes. You again? I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. I'm calling Just bluff with him, by the way. The instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. He says he's a fisherman, but his hands were so smooth. Did you see how smooth his hands were? They looked like hot dog, wet hot dogs right out of the package. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of dead Atlantic herring on the beach earlier today. Is that possible? Nope. You may have seen Pacific herring, but not Atlantic herring. No way. But they match the picture. Match the picture. I, I know what pictures look like. There perfectly. Because Atlantic herring are found only in the Atlantic. Trust me, I spent five years fishing for them. We'd catch them by the hundreds, freeze them, and sell them to aquariums and such. To aquariums? You mean to feed to other fish? Or to sea mammals? Of course. What else would they do with them? Bring them back to I life? Mean, it just, is it snowing? Exhibit? Look, I don't know how it is where you're from, but up here, seeing two dead fish on a beach isn't exactly front page news. Let it go. It's not snowing here. See you around. Vote for Hope. Spread the word. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. We have no snow and no hope for snow. So I have to get on a boat? I remember getting a map. How long is this game? Is this game almost over? <laughs> Speed run. Not, not you wish. No, I love this one. Eris, thank you for the bits. Good to see you. Alakazam, thank you again for the bits. Kit Kat Boss, thank you for the bits. People kept saying higher, so I had to really, I had to test them. I had to test. You can just get in a boat and nobody stops you? I have to call someone? Oh! I... When I tell you, I forgot why I even to, needed to know about the wood. I forgot. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before, about the driftwood. Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? 
Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, That Casey. sounds like a lot of work to do for free. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here, Jenna. We're having fun. I don't have Ned's number. Oh. <gasps> Curious how I can only call Frank and Joe Hardy instead of Ned. Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Hey. Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy. He's locking someone up? Goldie, she's not a someone. She's a some. Oh, they are having fun yeah, over there. In the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. I'm I already over this conversation and I she's regret clicking it, by the way. She's supposed to be on vacation. Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. I already regret it. Can I leave? Ugh. Let me guess. That was Goldie. Bingo. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. She eats a lot? She's as big as an SUV. Fully loaded. A Chrysler She's Pacifica. Garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. What kind of dog is she? Great Dane. Yikes! How does somebody go about losing a great There's Dane? There's a Great Dane. Someone around here has a Never Great Dane. Us. They Let's are huge! The oh, I don't want to talk. Talk to you later. Be careful. And have fun. Why would I ever call them? <laughs> they just want to talk about themselves. And I just want to call people to talk about me. <laughs> Captain Burnt Toast, thank you for the three months, by the way. Kick at Moss, thank you so much again. Be Coolia, thank you for the bits too. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. W one two three Rosebud. <gasps> Isn't there a mysterious lady who lives by herself in this one? Oh, they're so cute. One of our neighbors like um, takes uh, foster dogs on like the weekends or something, and she does. She gets like the big dogs. They are so cute and they're so sweet if i go past i'm gonna go past the buoy in just a second i love seeing them piggy can't see him though piggy will bully a larger dog <laughs> and he's he's not i don't know piggy thinks everyone's testing him There's a channel marker. Katie said not to go past them. <laughs> Kayaker! Oh my god! One foot off course. Kayaker lost at sea. <gasps> they took me on board and now I'm um, a, a crew on a ship. Should I have a map? It feels like I should have a map by now. Well, to be fair, chat is testing me. Chat is testing me. Oh, a GPS is a map. What am I doing all the way out here? What? No, what am I doing all the way out here? How 
did I get this far? <laughs> the triangle's supposed to point what direction you're going. I hate this tri this triangle that's not pointing in a direction. What now? How are you supposed to get past these rocks? Oh, I just did the same thing. All right, I'm going to go around this way. Oh, I'm not getting my equipment. <laughs> Carelessness sinks sleuth. You don't Im well, I mean, you do immediately sink if you don't have a life jacket, but your boat doesn't. Does it? First of all, I always wear the life jacket because I don't know how to swim. I'm just trying to get all the death scenes. Instant death. No life jacket, instant death. Club, another club. I gotta tell y'all, I'm all confused about the direction I'm going. Like, how did I get all the way out there? I think I know what to do. We need to go around it this way. Guess I better stay away from there. Why don't you not? How about you don't tell me how to do my job? I will not be taking swim lessons. Absolutely not. Because then people will expect me to swim places. Everyone will be asking me to swim places. If you know how to swim, everyone asks you to swim for them all the time. Uh, you know, like on errands, if you have any errands that involve swimming, they're like, can you swim to the post office for me? <laughs> People are always like, hey, can you swim to the post office? I want to look at that drawing. Oh, yeah, England. Hey, can you swim to England for me? Well, I just left the cave. The water sounds pretty. Did I just go to the exact same... All right. I'm going to take a right up here. That's the tea. The mysterious music. So I'm keeping these papers. I don't need to do that. Okay. Isn't there a secret hole that the whale is in? Oh, there's a lot of holes. Oh no, there's just one. <laughs> oh, I just keep turning around in a complete circle. Wait. Is that the same one? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm turning around in a circle. Is the orca not in here? Am I losing it? I thought an orca was in here. Maybe not. Dear chat, no orca? Can't get on the land? Dear chat, no orca? Show Orca. This isn't the right time for it, maybe. Hey, Juno. I thought I got to at least see it. Don't I find some buckets of paint, though? And I'm like, oh, it's actually a dolphin. When does that part happen? 
When does the part happen? Oh, wait. Are these GPS coordinates? <laughs> I don't have a complete set of coordinates to enter yet. Oh. Surely Nancy knows what, like, longitude she is, right? Wait a minute. Why do I need three numbers? Do I need four numbers? We find some buckets of paint, and Nancy goes, Oh, obviously they painted this dolphin. She goes, Oh. Painted dolphin. This old chestnut. There are buckets of paint. It's waterproof paint. It's water... Oh. It's waterproof mascara. Stop. Thanks, girl detective. It's waterproof mascara they tested on animals. And that's the real mystery. The orca put on too much mascara. The d They painted the Russian dolphin with waterproof mascara. That's it. That's the mystery. I have no idea what that is, Juno, but that sounds like fun. Waterproof mascara. Um, I'm just, oh, I'm having a lot of fun out on the ocean. Is this the ocean? <laughs> it's at least salt water. Because there's animals. Because there's dolph Russian dolphins. <laughs> Russian dolphins only swim in salt water. Oh, I guess we're back. Let's ask Katie about these things. What's up? Oh. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Dear chat, is my next thing to do... Is she vaping? What was that sound? Is my next thing to do find all of these uh, bl um, blueprint? They're not blueprints. They're uh, coordinates. No, she hasn't even asked me for a sandwich yet. It's been very upsetting. And are all the coordinates out on the kayak or are some of them on the other beach? Okay, so I do have to actually skip the rocks. I forgot where I did that. You never understood why makeup companies tested on animals? Have you ever seen an orca with luscious lashes? If you have, you'll know. When you see it, you get it. Have you ever seen an orca with long vol volume luminous lashes? <laughs> and you see that hunchy and you say, work it? Yeah, a little a little coral on the lips, a little coral colored lipstick. There's something in that bottle, but it's stuck on those rocks. No, I'm against animal testing too. Okay. Oh, it's this old chestnut. I learned that phrase from watching British TV, by the way. Kylie Jenner lip kit. <laughs> Burt's bees? <laughs> Who can take me? Who can take me? Skipping that rock on senior detective, which is probably the same as regular. Do I have a full set of coordinates? 
I don't have a complete set of coordinates to enter yet. Okay. Okay. I don't know how the ocean works. Uh, dear chat, where is the third, fourth set of coordinates? Is my next question. There's one so in the kayak. What's wrong with y'all? Ella Kazam, thank you for the bits. Love huskies. Great Pyrenees. Ludo, like the cough drops. Oh, Ludens. Ludens? Anyway, not like the cough drops, probably. <laughs> Kit Kat Boss, thank you for the bits. Instant death, no life jacket. Instant death. Isn't that that cough drop? Is that the only thing different on Senior Detective? Did I do the slide puzzle last time I played this game? Because if that's the, like the one thing I do differently, then honestly, I think I really ate this time. Then honestly, I think we ate. I did do it! There's a channel marker. Katie said not to go past them. And I beat it? Why am I playing this again? <laughs> well, well then why? Someone helped me. No one helped me this time. So that's good. Okay. I missed the bottle. Was it on screen? Is the bottle in the room with us now? I was just, I was gabbing. I've got the gift of gab. It was on the screen? Excuse me. Lost at sea. Are you sure? No, no, I want you to tell me. Because I don't know what I don't. I, I visually have seen it. At the dock? It's at the dock? Well, this might shock you, but I don't know where the dock is either. <laughs> oh, I think that's it. Is that a dock? Where am I? Like a doctor? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I hate that. Ooh, why did they do that to me? Hmm. Thank you. I hated that. In hmm. 48. Should I write them down first? In 48. If she says hmm again. 42.517. So those are the green ones. Has anyone ever looked up this location on a human map? Oh, 
Does anyone here know how to use a human map? Hmm? Eric, did you go to this location on your whale hunting journey? Not hunting, watching. <laughs> Oh no, this is N48. Russian painted dolphin map. Five one seven. And longitude W one two three O eight six one five. Just as I suspected. Trash. Which direction are we going? Front. We're going front ways. Well, I don't know about her not being human. But I could see this taking place in an adjacent universe. Could I have gone here the whole time? I've never been to this beach before. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I tried to do it like Kennedy Davenport, but I just didn't do it very well. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. Oh, I thought it to was going to be the a mortuary assistant calling. Please pick me up from the airport tonight. Hannah. It's flight 323. Oh, and we're probably not cats. finishing today. And we're probably do halfway. And you should probably rent a wheelchair too. See you soon. Definitely not finishing. Did they say flight 323? Oh! I miss it every time. Oh. I didn't even have to do this yet. I shouldn't be over here. I need to be catching sea worms. Oh, crap. She is leaping. I don't know. These aren't necessarily the rocks I would choose to jump on, but. Good work. You're a natural. Thank you, Minnie Francine. I do appreciate it. Stuff to build a sandcastle. I could use a break. Yay! This is the one where we find a fish and the fish has a name. And that fish? Angelina Jolie. Why am I doing this? Does this am I supposed to be building it to look like something specific or is this just for fun? Yeah, you tap on the fish a bunch of times. It's an Easter egg. <laughs> Pumpkins. Not to get blooper. Oh, I that's what you're doing. Interesting. I was supposed to dig up the little things. Aha! Uh -huh. And it's someone's name. And it's that... It's someone's name. Maybe it's... She puts it back. Click on the Oops. fish a bunch Must at times. Ticklish. 
and then the, this fish has a name. And that fish was me. Is this the fish that has a name? A starfish. Awesome. Is it one of the poisonous ones? Anemones are so beautiful. Lumpy, is this Lumpy? You ever think about how that this fish is dead now? This fish is dead now. It was never well. <laughs> there it is! Oh, that's cute. Well, it's not a real fish anyway. But if it were a real fish and there were a real fish in this game, it would be dead now. So was there a contest to create a, a fish for this game? Well, that's the only thing I, I knew about in any Nancy Drew game. Why am I on this beach? This does seem like fun and secluded, but I need to catch some oysters or something. I, am I really not supposed to be here yet? Just to do as a dear chat? I need to get that box open. I'm not making sandcastles. I don't even like making sandcastles in real life. I don't have a clam tube, no. I can open the box now? Whose name? Hey, scientist! Yeah, I need to get the... I need to get a clam. Clam tube. Ooh. Ooh! Um, I'll take a hint, but just a little one. But just a skinny one. <laughs> Well, I know I can open the box now. I know I can open the box now. Because I believe in myself. Oh, it's the word from the coordinate paper spelled out in flag. Well, we'll go do it the right way and I'll go see what it says in flag. Rosebud, that's her name. Of course, that's her name. I knew someone once named Rose June, and I love that name. Rose June? I thought that was so pretty. Rose June? Babes, <laughs> it does sound very Southern. Rose June? All right, so I'll go back now and just do. <laughs> Let's see you if they. No, see I don't have anything around. to say. Watch out for Caddy. What about Janine? Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Do I need to tell her I about found this? A bottle floating in the water with a strange message inside. Most, if not all, the notes you find in bottles around here were put there by Hilda Swenson. She Hilda was this Swenson, lady who a member of our chat. About Twenty years ago, they made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people, very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years, but then out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well, Oof. she pretty much died then too.
This is really y'all's crush for this game. What do you mean? She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. Work. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Work. And now she uses notes in bottles to communicate with people? Trouble is nobody can understand what she's trying to say. All she ever writes is letters and numbers and that one word. Rosebud. I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week, and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her, she won't answer. If I tell you, if I knew someone would come leave me some groceries every other week, I wouldn't leave the house either. That sounds great. She just gets groceries dropped off for free. I wonder what she's trying to tell us. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of hers. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? An internet connection? I don't even need an internet connection to play Stardew Valley. I play Stardew Valley. I'm gonna be playing Stardew Valley. Yeah, I guess it's nice. They're not real people though, so... <laughs> Anything good or bad they do is irrelevant because none of these are real people. That's just my opinion. That's my personal opinion on it. Not are any of us real. I mean, hands up in the chat. Are we living in a simulation? <laughs> if we want to, does anyone want to have that conversation? <laughs> Now let's have that conversation. If we're in a simulation, I really want to see the computer that's running it. Because I could play Red Dead on Ultra Settings. Oops. <laughs> I did not mean to click one more time. I could be playing Red Dead on Ultra Settings and streaming at the same time. Not doing that yet. Okay, Rosebud. I took a picture of the flags. I love that. I could, I could fall asleep to this background wave crashing stuff. Oh no, it's so <laughs> Man, I don't know who came up with this. Have they tried just writing letters on really big on like poster board? Because what is this? And I think. No, I haven't misspelled Rosebud yet. Have they tried just. Writing really big on, like, poster board. They make thick Sharpies now. I don't know what all those letters mean, but something tells me this may come in handy. <gasps> Port is left in... Well, actually, I don't know. Tell the Swiss and congratulations. Hope you enjoy finding you and I are just getting started. I've got a secret. Well, two actually. Send me something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code. You gotta ask questions and shake things up till you get answers. And I know you're curious or you wouldn't be reading this. In Morse code. As for what I want you and me. Read the little story I'm closed, I'll get started. The story makes no sense, you say. Well, you get into this chest, didn't you? Anyway, this is a crime to make me read this handwriting. You'll find the answer. Can Gen Z even read this anymore? They don't do cursive. Gen Z, can you even read this? <laughs> And I have sneaking suspicion. You'll figure out all the way something. Something is fishy in Snake Horse Harbor. 
Hilda, I thought there were three pieces of paper. Oh, I can't count papers. And then this one. There once was a dog named Alpha who lived high in the Sierra Nevadas. The dog weighed about 100 kilos. I don't know what kilos are. Kilos and lived in a hotel in the Sierras. Alpha loved his owner, Juliet Smith. Juliet belonged to the Delta Gamma sorority and loved to dance the foxtrot. Her boyfriend was named Orsker and he was quite a Romeo. One day, the owner of the hotel decided to move to India. This is the weirdest story I've ever to read. Therese Lima Beans. She was, that was fine for Miss Smith because she went to live in the Delta Gamma house. But Alpha wanted to stay in the Sierra Mountains so he could learn to play golf. Thunder eventually moved to India. Am I just supposed to write the... Do I write the first letter of all the capitalized ones? That can't be it. Because why is 100 really bold? Maybe that's just the font. Well, let me tell you about shorthand. If you've ever seen shorthand, it is wild. Shorthand. People just used to be able to read that and write it. A S N. This is definitely not this, because that's not a word. <laughs> longhand is just what you write. This is longhand. Should I know what to do with this right now? I'll just take it. And I guess we're leaving the letter, so that's fine. I gotta go find a clam stick. The life lesson of this story? Everybody's different. Everybody's different, uh. -huh. And the lesson? Everyone's different, uh huh. She's been fixing this boat for days. We have to have a talk. What's up? See you in a bit. Oh my god, there. I forgot about Jason! Andy Jason! Wow. Really is a forgettable flop. Um, I'm thinking... Well, let's go see what he's up to a whale world. Gen Z starts in 1997. So if you were born in... 98, you're an elderly Gen Z. I'm nothing like y'all. And y'all will never be like me. Actually. <laughs> no, I'm nothing like y'all. And I will never be like... Y'all will never be Hi, like Nancy. me. Hi, Nancy. Signatures That's are wild. Time. Whales rule! Oh, wait, that was worth it for him screaming that at me. Can I really not fix your... Oh, wow, what's this that's ship? A interesting. 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 Something about that ship. It's really interesting. <laughs> Something about that ship. It's really interesting to me. Personally. That way I show y'all about the to that Toad Festival's, well, you could get funnel cakes. Well, you could get fried everything. 
I would think that this man would give me a clam shovel. You again? Did you know Hilda Swenson? Sure did. She even Do you know a Hilda a or a Bilda? There she was, this itty bitty lady in her 60s hauling in nets. Did it for the sheer love of adventure. She was quite a gal. See you around. Watch out for Katie. Toad suck. T-O-A-D. Hey, stay out of there. Sorry. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? Toad! Kick at Moss, thank you for the bits. It's a pretty interesting ship when you think about it. Alakazam, thank you for the bits. Not crowd control, IRL. Oh, this is what you found. Senior detective, you, do you don't get hints from Bess and George like you would if you were on Junior. And the puzzles are usually a little harder generally. Thank you, Kit Kat Moss. And Girl Detective, thank you for the bits. I do appreciate it. Oh. Girl Detective, there's a poster in the cafe that can help decipher the letter puzzle. Posters? I've never seen a poster before. Is this a poster? Thank you, girl detective. It's in this room, isn't it? Looks like I can't go in there. I'm not allowed in there. Are there posters in that room? Wait, what? what, what wait, what? It's the flag poster? Oh! These are the words! Got it. Thank you. I think I did this exact same thing the first time I played the game. Okay, so let's get it. Alpha. Oh. But I was doing it right already. Because Alpha is A, Sierra is S, Nevada's is N. A glitch in their game, having this game, Moon Lake in the same phone, it goes to the boat. Where the chest is in Moon Lake. Oh, interesting, Princess Jasmine. Be careful, not all capitals are right. So there's going to be some lowercase. There once was a dog. Named Alpha. Alpha is one of them. Who lived high in the Sierra Nevadas. It is A S N. Kilo is one of them. K. A S N K is still not a word. The first one should be ask. Oh. N is November. Thank you. I was so caught up. Y'all know me. Ask. A S K S Sarah Set Sag Sag What should the next letter What should the The next are initials S A I got S-A-J-J. -J. Three sets of initials, in fact. Okay. It's not Smith, so... Alpha... Ooh. S-A-J-J. -J D... Gamma's throwing me off, because it's not that. Swordy, love to... Foxtrot! D-F... S-A... 
JJ DF. Hotel! I forgot about hotel. I didn't think hotels existed when they made this language. Flag language. <laughs> HS. AJ. JD. Four. Ask HS. AJ, JD, four. Ha, ha, ha. Hi. Ha. Four. Hi. <laughs> Flag language. Ha. Uh, lima beans? Lima beans. Why are they called lima beans if it's Lima, Peru? Oh. <laughs> For Hilda! Well, that's gonna be that. No? Yeah, Delta. Delta. No. H I L D. Yeah, ask for Hilda. Sis. Is golf one of them? It sure is. Ask for Hilda. You know what? Can y'all just, yeah, y'all don't you just tell me the last words before I just snap. <laughs> so far, so good. Uh, I don't know what you, I don't know what I'm going to go over here. I'm going to be talking to you. Is she okay? <laughs> oh, Hilda's gift. I'm getting there. Ta -da! She didn't use punctuation. A J J D for Hilda's gift. Why is there nothing for like a space? Ask who? You, you again? I understand. That you halt. <laughs> gave you something. So what if she did? I was hoping I could take a look at it. <laughs> you sure are a demanding little thing, ain't you? But tell you what. This chess problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here, solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. I have a chess trophy. Feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. I have a chess trophy. Identify two moves that White can make to win the game. All right. Time to eat. Time to eight. I think... In the voice I No, I don't do interviews. I don't give interviews or give interviews, by the way. So, no. Checkmate. So, we are white. I don't do that, by the way. So, I'm not going to do that. Two moves. So, what if... So, if this one were here... Oh, well, that's one. Yeah, that's one. Move piece. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Oh, R is for Rook. <laughs> I put the name. I was going to say this was piece 8A, but that's not how chess works. I don't play that way. I play with moving pieces with my hands. Move it to... Huh. 
H eight. Am I wrong? If this piece were right here, this piece couldn't move this way. It couldn't move this way. It couldn't move this way. It would be a checkmate. Oh, could it move here? Oh, it could. No, it couldn't move there either. Am I wrong? Huh. 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 G5 or H5? Is that not right? It can move to G... But if you went to H8, wouldn't the king be able to kill the rook? No, kings can only move one space. The king be able to kill the... If this were here, it's a, it's giving straight lines. So we couldn't move there or there. If you moved here, this would get you. Oh, then they would take that. That's what you're saying. Okay. Well, no, you can't move there because you can't put yourself in danger. I guess they could move here. They could... No, they couldn't because that would get them. I have to do two moves at the same time. But if I can win the game in one move, why would I? If I can win the game in one move, why would I? Uh, why would I win, try to win the game with multiple moves? They'd move to G7. Oh, you're right. Okay. Okay. Stop yelling. Okay, no more yelling, though. <laughs> okay. Just gonna think about this again. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Thanks, Geisha girl. I'm just thinking about it again reconsidering the options i would move it to g f so not this rook oh apparently i do yikes thank you mia i appreciate that so much so this would uh, this the pawn needs to move here the rook needs to be to G8. Huh. Oh! How could I be wrong? You're perfect. Some You're beautiful. Them. You look like Linda and that. I want to figure this You're out. Model. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I appreciate that. I think you should. That someone should leave. You should leave. I don't want to do this move anymore. But she already said that it's right. So I know I have to move the rook. Oh, I want to move the rook to h5. Correct. Rook moves to h5. So black would move here. And then I would move here, I think. No, that's not going to put it in check. And then what I do then... Well, first of all, it's none of y'all's fucking business. But second of all... <laughs> So, it's none of y'all's business, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> I got this. I got this. It's a middle school chess trophy, okay? <sighs> Everything's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yes! There! Checkmate! I just did the Queen's Giblet.
Done with that chess problem yet? Check it out. Right as rain. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handle's made of scrimshaw. One she bum. <laughs> Good Never work. You're a natural. One bum on it Thanks, like that. Solly. Of course, this was after her husband died. <sighs> yes, your mind scrimshaw. is to go. Well, Good work. The... You're a natural. Scrimshaw. Whales. Thanks, Juno. I appreciate it. Well, I've just about fried my brain. I think it's time for another um, a language learning break, honestly, because we need to be we need to do something that I'm good at for a minute. <laughs> the mouse wouldn't look at me struggling to get the mouse Watch out of the day. window. <laughs> <laughs> Me tr struggling, screaming, clawing to get the mouse out of the out of the window. <laughs> She's free. She's free. Let her be free. All right, we need some hi-fi music. Okay, once again, I'm going to tell y'all about uh, Rosetta Stone. We've partnered with them for today's stream once again, uh, and. We're going to be doing a, another language learning lesson right now. So, y'all know about Rosetta Stone by now, but Rosetta Stone has a dynamic immersion approach to learning the language of you of your choice. They have 25 different languages. So, once again, you're not just memorizing. You are learning more naturally. You're hearing uh, native speakers. You're speaking yourself. You're learning through pictures. Uh, and it really aims for you to be conversation ready. So, uh, we've been doing Spanish. Uh, as you, as uh, per the last couple of language learning breaks, let me move the chit chat over to this side so I can still see y'all. It's so important to engage with your chat, of course. Uh, and like I mentioned before, um, I took Spanish. We're doing Spanish Latin America. You can also do Spanish Spain, um, like in the Cheetah Girls 2 movie. I started at core lesson three in this one because Rosetta Stone was like, how much do you think you know about Spanish right now? And I was like, well, I know definitely more than the basics. So now we're learning. It bumped us up to lesson three. I want you to learn something. So we are 71% through our core lesson 3.1 at this moment in time. We're going to continue our progress. And it's, I'm going to show you all some of my favorite features as we do this. Hablo chino. Hablo chino. So there's Hablo the chino. um the wheel that Hablo shows you. Arabe. Hablo Arabe. That shows Hablo you how Arabe. well your pronunciation is Hablo doing. Inglés. Hablo inglés. Hablo inglés. Hablo español. Hablo español. So it's got this little Hablo wheel Espanol. that shows you. Oh, on that one, my accent could be a little bit better, but it's helping me because we're hearing it from native speakers right now. Hablas Arabe? So now we're getting into it. Now we are learning. We're putting to use what we just learned. So this is a question they're talking to each other. You can see because he's right here. He's saying, do you speak Arabic? And he's saying, um, yes. Si, sí, hablo árabe. I do. They're asking, so we can see back on the background, um, some Chinese characters. So they're probably asking, they're asking the question, hablas chino? Hablas chino? Si, sí. Now I'm doing something I'm good at. <laughs> and they're saying, it looks like they're saying no. No, no hablo chino. No, no hablo chino. So you can see how this lesson that we've been doing this entire stream has progressed from... Perdón, usted habla ooh, chino. here we go. No, chino. No hablo chino. I've never had one like this before in the Spanish lesson yet. So now we're having choices on how to complete this. And we know they've already said no, so no hablo chino. Context no, clues. No hablo chino. Building on what you Perdón, know. Usted chino. Usted. I know which I know is you. You speak 
Chinese. Oh, I did it wrong. That's my first one I've gone wrong. But look here though. Excuse me, do you speak Chinese? So I had the, uh, usted. Perdón, usted habla chino. <laughs> no, flop! Sí. It's all part of learning. Chino. Because then I know, oh, for the next time, we can build on that, and we know that's usted habla. And si, sí, hablo chino. Si, sí, hablo chino. So if you get it wrong, then you can click on the translation. You can see what's happening, see what they're saying. Perdón. Not how do you say flop in Spanish. I haven't got to, ooh. I haven't got to, I haven't learned flop yet. Rosetta Stone's gonna have a picture of me. <laughs> and, and see, we would be learning through images. Perdón. 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 Work Perdón. on that one. Usted habla inglés? Usted habla inglés? So this is good because now usted I'm learning inglés? more about usted. Usted's the one I always sí. have trouble with. Hablo inglés. Sí, hablo inglés. Sí. So now we're hablo learning inglés. the formal Perdón. usted. Perdón. Perdón. I need to work on how I say pardon. Usted habla español. Usted habla español. Usted habla español. Sí, hablo español. Sí, hablo español. We're building sí, on it. Hablo español. Not flop translates to Joe. So yeah, we we got 56 out of 57. Let me tell you, if they had a trophy for it, I'd get it. Just like that chess trophy my multiplication trophy so once again um you've got a wonderful deal oh and the explore if y'all get this the explore all content tab live lessons on-demand videos sound like a native speaker spanish accents phrase books y'all make sure you click around because it's more than just the lessons it's so much more content content so important um and here we are. Click my link. You can type exclamation point Rosetta Stone in the chat at any point. You can also go to my about page. The link will be up for the next week, but it's also evergreen. Um, and if you're on YouTube, it'll be in the description. It'll bring you to this page where you can see all the discounts, best deal, lifetime subscription, MSRP $399, over 60% off, $149, one payment is all you ever have to do. Um, with a lifetime subscription, there is no renewal fee. You're gonna get access to all 25 languages, so you can go back and visit them anytime, learn multiple languages, study multiple ones, which is awesome. Uh, so, yeah, exclamation point Rosetta Stone in the chat. Definitely check it out. Um, and like we've been saying, like y'all been mentioning, been mentioning, great gift ideas. Even just giving them the code. You're saving them 60% off. Just give them the code. Pass that code around. Um, so yeah, we we'll really appreciate these Nancy Drew streams sponsored by Rosetta Stone. They have been absolutely amazing to work with. Um, I think I'm gonna keep on with the Spanish lessons. It's something I've been wanting to revisit and relearn for a while now. So those are a lot of fun. Oh, and stick around because at the end of the stream, we're going to be having a giveaway code for a one-year activation of Rosetta Stone, this direction. Stick around for that. Okay, I guess I have to go back to... I have to get the, get the clam shovel. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to get a clam shovel. Thank you, Rosetta Stone. It has been a wonderful partnership. <laughs> Not me spinning. Just... Sp just spinning. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I yeah, own. Yeah, thank you, I'm Sasha. Sure Sasha will be here house. to help give out the code. I appreciate it. Something? Just spinning around that damn room. Prettiest thing I own. Never made a 
shaking his head. Well, Pinto Doodles, thank you for that first time seven. I'm glad you got to make a live. I appreciate that. It's kind of a long story, but I'd really love to see that. Necklace. One bum. The problem is my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. Girl, I got you. I got you, fam. As they say on that deodorant commercial, I got you, fam. Why don't I go clamming for you? Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. Not the mayonnaise bucket. But you also need a permit. How many? Andy Jason can issue you one. It's been fun talking to you. Did Mac she say Asha. 15? She didn't say 15, did she? Kit Kat Boss, thank you again for the bits. A, a lonely bum. Yeah. Alakazam, thank you for the bits too. No. No. I think my dad actually gave me the chess trophy. <laughs> The plot thickens. Well, what had happened is my dad was the head of the chess team when I was in middle school. And so that's why he issued the trophies. Only me and what other person got it? Well, and maybe not only. It is 15? No. No, but he didn't give it to me because I was a sad little sad flop nerd who never got any trophies. He was the chess person at our school. He taught chess at my school. And so he gave out the trophies when I made it to regionals. <laughs> Not stop the count. Not this. Not again. Okay. Oh, I need to ask Hi, him Nancy. about the permit. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She no. gave me the design Trophy. I used to create the keychain that gives away to everyone who goes on a whale world whale watch. She was quite the graphic artist. Is if you inherit intellect, is that nepotism? I think my dad was the chess teacher because I liked chess. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non Being good at chess to settle inherited here, a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. Oh, you mean Hilda. You mean Hilda Swenson? That's the one. It's not nice to say she went bonkers. She owned, moved to this tiny island across the channel and went certifiably nuts, which is too bad. She was a nice lady. Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. What? Now, why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head? You're going to okay, jail. Okay. <laughs> yes. I was going to call the police. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I can't use my phone right now. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you. Ordinarily, you could. But permits mean paperwork. And I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... You just God. got yourself a volunteer. Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might oh, look I like love in this skeletal one. form. Never mind, I'm here Assemble for it. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! Nice. All right, I am calling the police hmm. right in front of you, though. Oh. Hmm. Never mind, Nancy forgot what a phone is. Never mind. Nancy forgot what a phone is. Hmm. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? You're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Hmm. Give me $200. Thanks, Titan girl. I appreciate that. Bingo. Hmm. No, that's where it goes. I know. I've been inside. Nah. I've crawled, I've lived Good. inside of one of these. <laughs> My first studio apartment was inside of a snake horse. Good. I know. My first studio apartment. Oh, yeah. Nah. Bingo. We just call them snorses. Bingo. I love putting models together. Oh, 
Never mind, I hate this. No, that goes there. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. They have neck bones? Hmm. Bones in my neck? Hmm. First of all, that hmm. fit perfectly, so Nancy can. Good. They got bones all the way down? Nah. Nah. They got bones all the way down? Oh, yeah. Bones in my neck? <laughs> Good cat boss, thank you for the bits. She's just over here chit-chatting away. Sometimes I feel this way. So when I take Piggy on walks, I talk to him the whole time. Good. Like we have we have conversations. So I'm just walking around the street talking to my dog. And I just wonder, I know my neighbors Good. can see me. And I see other people and they're not talking to their dogs. Good. I see other people and they're not talking to their dogs. And I'm like, hmm. Sorry you don't love your dog. Hmm. Nah. I don't know what I'm holding. Oh, it probably goes this way. Good. Well, a few times. So there's some benches near our building obscured by some bushes. And um, not in a cruising way. And sometimes people in the building will sit there. And I don't see them until I round the bush. And I've been chatting with Piggy the whole time chit chatting away hmm. and i round that corner and i'm like oh nah but really they're interrupting me nah oh yeah they're really interrupting me hmm. i can't see this piece there we wow. go wow am i a creative genius or what bye Uki. glad you got to be here Ooh, good luck Jenna Devlin, thank you for the bits, by the way. Girl Detective, thank you for the bits again as well. The date on the art I looked at is 50 years ago tomorrow. Oh, wow. Oh, dang. Hi, Nancy. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway... Center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. You had someone pee on your bushes for free? How'd you get them to, how'd you get someone to pee on your bushes for enough, free? The clam will be in the sand that comes That's out of the tube. That's a deep, dark not, hole. Yeah. Thanks, girl detective. You got free Thanks piss you in your neighborhood? Whales rule! Our gardener charges extra. Well, the building's gardener. I don't have a yard. <laughs> Why did I want this? Oh, I need to go find clams. Well, I don't know why you're complaining about free water in your bushes. Seems a little bit ungrateful to me. Seems a little bit ungrateful. Do I have to get this out really quick? I already have some rocks. Aha! I have to get 15 of those? I don't think there's 15 holes on the beach. No plans here. That is really cool because you see no these holes. Here. That's a deep, dark hole. Thanks, yeah. Ryan. Are you on the chart for most played for that sound?
<laughs> it was a jump scare. Okay, I just ordered one of those. You can redo certain holes. I don't even remember what I was about to tell y'all I ordered. <laughs> there were so many purchases. No plans here. There were so many Black Friday sales. You can redo certain holes. Not all of these things. Ooh! You're no clam. I'm terrified of fish bones. I love eating salmon, but I'm terrified of fish bones. What's up with that? What is up with that? Fish bones? I'm just trying to have my meal. Oh, the robes are great. I've been What's wearing the fuzzy, that? the fuzzy one because it's cold. Thank you. Thanks, Geisha girl. This hole seems to have a lot of clams in it. I, I really can't believe I have to do this as many times as it's telling me. <laughs> I'm going to Clam Island. Oh yeah, I, bought, I did buy a portable bidet as well. Like a $10, it's a, it's a squirt tube. They work really well though when you're on vacation. Squirt, it's just a squirt tube with an angled nozzle. $10, Cyber Monday. When I tell y'all, I know how to get there now. Look at me go. Wait. Is there a clam? We all make choices. But that was a choice. <laughs> Thank you, Geisha girl. Yeah, some of us choose to have a clean, clean butt. And uh, some of y'all stay crusty. Yeah, some of us choose hygiene and Knowing my chat. No plans here. Knowing my chat. No, no, no. Nancy was real Bye confused again. about that hole. To go. Thank you, Thursday. It is a new watch strap. You remembered from yesterday, though, didn't you? Do I have to find... Are there... Do I have to find more clams on senior detective mode? Because it feels like that's the move. Oh, that's gorgeous! Did I keep it? She threw that shell away! I, you could put that on the cheapest piece of string and sell it on Etsy. She could have sold that on Etsy. I would love to hear the clamming cheat. I would love to hear it. Please tell me. I will say it's a little relaxing, but it's Oops, not relaxing. That's not a clam. It's not relaxing enough for me to want to continue doing this for 30 more minutes. Well, no, what's senior about this run is one, I'm a senior. <laughs> I'm the senior and the senior detective. Okay. And, and I'm doing, and also I'm doing really great. I'm the senior. I think you can register at AARP anytime. We looked it up, did we not? Has it been posted yet? Normally senior shake doesn't change overall. She was only puzzled. Yeah. 
When you get a clam, you click the bucket in inventory and go back and forth until you get 50. So it cheats you a clam. So I, now I just gotta find a single clam. Don't go over 15. What happens? If you get more than 15 clams, the universe, the simulation breaks down. The simulation breaks down. You get arrested. The simulation breaks down. SWAT team. And I do what now? You click the bucket. When you get a clam. So I don't, I don't do that. I'm doing it wrong is what's happening. Click the bucket inventory and go back and forth. Do I have to click the clam first? I'm afraid to click the clam. I'm gonna save it on this clam. Click the clam. Click the clam first. And now the bucket. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go over. Ten? They're gonna start stacking. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11. 12. 13. 14. Fifteen. the game. Ah! Wait, what number am I on now? I think I have one more. Okay, that's enough. Oh, shit. No, wait. Oh! Oh, I have to click the last one! How many people were scared? Me too. I was really, really scared. Thanks, Juno. Click all right, fifteen yes. clams. I'm all set. The bucket broke. The simulation broke, and the bucket said, "Flopped out." Thanks for the sticker, girl detective. You did the wrong thing. Thanks, Tom and Lake. Y'all know if someone tells me not to do something, I have to do it, and not only that, but I have to do it immediately. Like it's happening next ten minutes. <laughs> no, I'm streaming for another, uh, probably half an hour or so. I'm here, I just want to know the facts. And I want to give the facts to the people. What's up? <laughs> Thanks, Mia. I saw a boat in a bottle at Andy Jason's place. He said it was made by a I appreciate guy named it. Benjamin Hawkins. As a matter of fact, I've done some research on Hawkins. He settled here in the mid 1800s, lived in a cabin where the lighthouse is now. That was good timing. It's been fun. Well, I feel like we're we're all co-workers. What else have you found out? He apparently And had I'd a like you to get out of my cubicle. <laughs> Hawkins would see the guy sail on the horizon, grab his family and all his valuables. And, and I'd like you to get out of my days. cubicle. I 
I need to call Casey again. What was the feud about? Oh, crap. Nobody knew. Rumor had it that the sea captain was an ex-pirate, which might explain why Hawkins hid. But where he hid is still a mystery. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Yeah, I don't do the best friend Joe bit anymore. We have boundaries now. I'm not. Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Joe. No. Well, I like to do a fun spinoff thing. Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth Joe. Hey, partners, it's me, your favorite partner, Joe. It would be rude to use my phone now. Oh my God, give it up, Nancy. You're rude everywhere you go, girl. Girl, give it up. Nancy Drew scared to be rude. All of a sudden, where's this energy? I'm calling the police. <laughs> We're sorry. Your call cannot be Oh yeah, I used to say you're what dreams are made of. Now I just thank people. I was over it. I prefer just thanking people. Alakazam, thank you for the bits again. Coco Kringle, good to see you. Thank you for the bits. Glad you got to be here. Oh, Casey. Why? And Bristaps, thank you for the bids. Oh my Every gosh. Library, well, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Sending you good vibes. Shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor, about a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy. What with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, it's a dolphin, actually, Casey. Thing. Actually, it's a dolphin. I knew it was too good to be true. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just Volcanic activity? What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an Thanks, undersea Alec or something. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. For 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. There's a white castle under the harbor. <laughs> and Dawn works there. Do you know Dawn? She works at the white castle under the water. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some Come on, Casey, said give me the details. The it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics, just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official oh, good for was them. Weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea The seahorse! Caddy? S uh, no thanks. Uh, horse. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, what did he think I offered? Lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, horse? Oh, way, snake horse! I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. Actually, he'd be good operating heavy machinery because if he's having trouble hearing, he won't have to use like earplugs. How did he get my email, by the way? Get him out of my hair. Your dad has been, oh my God, I haven't been checking my email. Kind of a stained glass art freak and came across a web page in s cyberspace. God, never trust anyone who says cyberspace. Check out bombback.lab slash examples slash royal slash h. Oh my god. Was the next game 
the uh, Marie Antoinette's castle in Wisconsin or whatever. Surfing the net. Oh, it's not. Is this something I have to do? Why would I want to do this? The hot kettle was originally called oh. the Royal Saloon. Interesting. Got it. Oh no. <laughs> Not cyberspace. Jacob Bombeck, glass artisan. A shrewd businessman named Silas Deblin built the Royal Flush Saloon in 1866. Like big pieces of candy. I love stained glass. In St. Louis, all those little bitty houses that'll have like a stained glass window in the upper part of the window. Oh my God, I love it. No, no, the giveaway's in about half an hour or so. Sorry, I just took electrodes off of my back. Is that okay? <laughs> Sorry, I just took those electrodes off my back. Is that okay? By the turn of the century, the saloon had closed. <laughs> no! Largely intact, so that today, beautiful glass remains. Eighteen sixty six. Pre Gilded Age. Well, when did the Gilded Age start? I actually don't know. Is the I plug well, you know how they have bone conducting ear uh, headphones and you wear them like above your ears and the bone conduction, which I don't believe in. Um <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't believe in. Um, it's spinal conduction. Boner conducting earbuds. <laughs> Not this. Yeah, like 1880s. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, you're a Tama girl. I have one too. I kind of hate this case. Well, for one, the reset button is only where the remakes go. And so the reset button's on the other side for the originals. Is this the same one you got? Bingo. I hate. I hate the cat ears too. <laughs> Were you waiting for a Tamagotchi thing for the bingo, Monica? Oh, not poker. Oh, no. This is how I have to solve that stuff, I think. I do keep it on that one. I love that one. And I like to keep that one out of the box. Yes! It's a pretty color. Pfft, chest basics. Don't need it. Real sad. What else we have in here? Oh. I can No, stop opening the book. Oh! That, something said that. <laughs> Wait! So I just got penalized for being good at chess because there's a bookmark that has the code in it. And I wouldn't have seen it. If I, in unless I was bad at chess because I didn't need the book. So I'm getting penalized for being a genius now. No, I haven't gotten into the lighthouse. Stop yelling about that. Oh, that's the combination for the lighthouse, isn't it? 
uh, stop yelling at, at me about that. Hi, Nancy. Oh, good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The sheriff just left. Who would want to rob this place? Well, they definitely didn't take the food. Look right there. <laughs> Who would want to rob this place? Really? Was anything stolen? What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like they that. They didn't take your food. It looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. Boat parts? Go figure. Who would What's rob more, you? Both doors you only have trash. And none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did Jenna, it. nobody would rob you. You don't have anything anybody wants. You know, it's possible that the sheriff missed Give something. Give it up, Jenna. If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. But Jenna, you don't have anything anyone would want to take. Match pairs across all three screens. Is there a timer? Well, oh. There doesn't seem to be a timer. I'm losing it because I think that all of these are I've only seen for the first time, but that can't be true because there's like two left. <laughs> I must be I must be losing it. Because I thought all of those I had seen for the first time. I know there was a banana over here. I have to do this three times? All different. None of these are the same. I'm not even joking anymore. It's all the same. I mean, it's all different. I swear, something's not firing in my brain right now. Okay, find the pair. There's not another pair. Do y'all not see this? There's not another pair! No, not a deer chat. Because something's... I don't want to talk about it right now. Wait, it's across all three... <gasps> You're joking. That's not how memorization works. This is the only difference between junior and senior detectives. The match, you match between screens and not just each of the three. So I'm not losing it because I never had it to begin with. All right, there's a strawberry over here somewhere. Dead ass. Well, I don't even know where I clicked the strawberry on this one. <laughs> All right, I, 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 there's not a potato. I know there's a fish over here. There's no soup over there, so I'll just keep going. There's no bread. Now, I know there's a bread. Okay, well, now that I know that, I can do this very methodically, so y'all better watch out. I don't even know what that is. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. 
Uh, mushrooms were on this one. I thought I was losing it. I thought I was tripping through time and space. I'm getting close. Oh, that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I think soup's on this one. Nope. Okay. Oh, bread is on this one. Oh, that's the first one. I clicked that one many times. Why is this like someone's tablet? This is just someone's tablet. Never seen these before in my life. Now, tomato. I know her. Well, that slurping in the background. Y'all, that's someone munching on clam chowder. That's clam chowder. Slurpin', slurpin', clam chowder. The egg is up here somewhere. Oh man, I hate this. Do you know what I mean? Match pairs across. What are you saying? I'm dumb. <laughs> are you saying I'm dumb or smart? I can't tell. I just don't know why Jenna thinks someone wanted to rob her. She's just living in this fantasy world. Has this box been here the whole time? Like, since the beginning of the game? No, I want to okay. keep it. <laughs> Elif. Should I be writing this down? And his said, did his say one bum? Did it really? Well. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? hate her. <laughs> I hate her. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. Not one bum, Unibum. You just had one butt cheek. Oh, I looked down? Save King. Looks like they didn't take all her boat parts. We're gonna go back and the boat's gonna be fixed. We're gonna go back and that boat's gonna be fixed and it's gonna be very, in fact, suspicious. And I know one of these booths opens up. That's strange. Nancy said, a menu at a restaurant? 
What's strange, that the salt's knocked over? Kids do stuff like that all the time. Oh no, is this poker? Oh no! That's poker. Okay, I think I can do that now and I'm not going to. Yes, I, I solved the whole puzzle. Let me tell you. Those LEDs you get, cheapy little ones, they're bright. Just put that at the top of a lot house. LEDs energy efficient. Just put those. This is actually a mess that Nancy did not make, huh? Oh, I didn't thank you, Anonymous. Thank you so much for that sound clip, by the way. Alright, I'm going to the lighthouse. <laughs> this is the Drew residence. Please <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Uh, it's what Hannah. was that? I seem to have gotten beamed by a chunk of lighthouse. Could you please pick me up from a flight tonight? It's airport 323. Okay, 323! Three, pack up ice no one's ever noticed that before. It's 323. Size of a goose egg. Am I making sense? Oh, well. Soon you see. Also, it's not airport 323. It's flight 323. Airports don't have numbers like that. You think she'd notice? Oh. <laughs> this is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. I did it again. So maybe Hi, I'm Nancy. the one uh, that's not very smart. I seem to have gotten beamed by a chunk of lighthouse. Could you please pick me up from a flight tonight? It's airport 323. Oh, and bring a pack of ice couples. I've got a grapefruit on my head the size of a goose egg. Am I making sense? Oh, well, soon you see. Oh, Nancy, you are a court. Now, what am I supposed to do? Not get hit in the head? I clicked back. Oh, okay, Whoa, good. That was close. You know what? We're going to save it right there. <laughs> you know what? We're going to save it right there. You know what? Can I not see what almost fell on me? It's just trash. I think that's nice. It's nice and historic. Okay, three, four, seven, five. Nice. Y'all better watch out, because I'm in. Uh, there isn't there something dingled that, whoa. What a weird place to zoom in. What did that do, I wonder? I want to look down here. I wonder what that did. Maybe that opened the lighthouse that I'm that's up here. Don't they usually have staircases? Looks That's like someone's dangerous. Been up recently. Someone messy. Ooh, candy. That's today. Wonder why it's circled. Mapa Burrow Wood with gold trim. Is this a types of wood poster? Just adventure. Can I eat that? Oh my god, that's wasteful. <laughs> Thanks, Geisha girl. I do appreciate it. Oh, I'm supposed to send a code to what's her name? <laughs> Does it matter what the code is? Looks like the bulb's missing. 
Ah, poo. Nancy sent in Morris code. Nancy sent in Morris code with the lighthouse. And in the meantime, ships just crashing. No, I don't want to play any more games. I'm fucking gamed out. I've had enough of playing games. What was that? Thanks, Keisha girl. Just ship after ship after ship crashing and crumbling. Is this timed? Move, move. Oh, it was. No, maybe it wasn't. Anyway, I'm down here now. Sorry, I got really excited. Briseps, thank you again for the bits. I do appreciate it. Thanks again, Geisha girl. Is one of them broken? Is this a puzzle? Is this, they sound different, don't they? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I want one without sound. I want one without sound. That's what I thought. Hmm. Wonder why that's there. Through the efforts of many. Okay, first of all, I don't know what that is. Through the efforts of many built the wall scene here. It took a lot of people to do this. Am I missing some pieces? I think I'm missing some pieces. Empty eggshells back in the egg carton? Prison. This will click when I get it right. I think it's, it's, I, it's clicking now. Wait, we never followed that map. There's obviously more to this, like the other half of the picture. So I can't do it now. That's salmonella. That's salmonella. What was that? What was that? All right, let's go put the light bulb in. I've never fixed a light before. <laughs> I've never seen a light before. It's rusted shut. Really? Okay. It's rusted shut. Can I rub some fish guts on it? It's rusted shut. We get it. I would rub. If this were um, uh, if this were Secret Files Tunguska, Nancy would take those fish guts. I can still put the light bulb in. Does it go there? Oh, it goes there. But I need to get the front opened. Ah, there we go. Oh, I don't need to get the front opened. I should do dots and dashes for the whole thing.
Sorry. I was just pretending I had a data entry job. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, I was just pretending I had a data entry job and I wasn't here. Is that okay? Is that okay? Um, I'm pretty sure I know what I have to do, by the way, so hold on. It's the words from all of the gifts she gave people. Slow topper, I was fastest in my class by a mile. My whole class, the whole school. They used to post the results from typing class and I was always number one in one time. Oh, I'm telling this story again because you got me riled up. In one time. My friend challenged, my friend was like, oh, you can't really type that fast, blah, blah, blah. And I said, bet. And let me tell, the whole country, nine million words a minute. And my friend was like, all right, I challenge you to type off. Let's type the same thing. And I said, actually, let's not. I'll type something longer than you and I'll still beat your ass. And you know what? We had, a, we typed our names, my name long, Joseph Birdsong. And she had a, she was a short name, something like Sue Blue. And I said, all right, type your name this amount of times, no mistakes, mistakes, no points off, et cetera, et cetera, go. And I ate, and I still beat her. Name, four, 40 to 70 times as long. Sue Blue. <laughs> you don't know this about me. I mean, a lot of you did. Do I have to go talk to Andy J Jason? She, she sure stayed mad. She was like number three or four. She never had a chance. <laughs> she never had a chance. Where are they now? Well, she's a doctor. <laughs> and I'm a streamer. So... <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, I gotta put my helmet on. You can't back out and put your... Oh, I guess you can. <laughs> well, she's a scientist. And I'm a streamer. And you know what? That's okay. I would love to play it. We'll play a typing game one of these days. <laughs> Did you hurry? We got to live that part. Jordan 2, thank you for the 27 freaking months, by the way. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Katie Ruby, 16 months. Thank you so much as well. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I know. Well, I, we're actually about to... Uh, I've been enjoying this game, and I I enjoy our Rosetta Stone partnership a lot as Hi, well. Hi, Nancy. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. But we are about okay. to end and wow. do That's one more one language week. learning lesson, and then I'm going to do the giveaway as well. Jenna said the sheriff is baffled. So what else? I'm in the zone. Thanks for your time. Whales rule. Whales rule. And pointers and refuses to use the home. Do you know what? Here's a secret about the way I used to type. And I and I was still first. I was still first in my class the whole way. Typology. I didn't use the shift keys. Every single time I had to capitalize a letter, I at the speed of light, at the speed of light, hit caps lock the letter and caps lock again. You don't know about it. Stop saying y'all know all my stories. I sure did. I sure did. And I was still first number one in my class. And when I first learned how to drive, I put, I used both feet. Well, I think that's enough. <laughs> Hey, 
And it's time for a, uh, a language. Lo- We're doing the giveaway too, so stick around. Uh, it's time for another uh, language learning lesson with Rosetta Stone once again. They have been our wonderful partner for this stream. Let's get some lo-fi going as well. No, I don't know how to drive a manual. Anyway, uh, <laughs> more about that later. Rosetta Stone, top exclamation point Rosetta Stone in the chat. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them as usual with our breaks. And then we are going to be doing some lessons. So Rosetta Stone, as you just saw if you're on Twitch, uh, they use a dynamic immersion approach to learning languages. Uh, so you're not just memorizing translations. You're not just looking at vocabulary sheets. You're learning more naturally. So they've got the pictures that y'all have seen. You hear the native speakers. You speak as well. It helps you with your pronunciation. Very interactive, and it's setting you up to be conversation ready. Um, so we're doing it on PC, but I've told y'all before they've got an app. You, There's an app for that. Uh, I have both the iOS one and the one on my Android phone as well. So you can do it wherever you want. Um, and I will show y'all some of my favorite features. I forgot to put the banner up. Hold on. Gotcha. Some of my favorite features as we're doing the Spanish lessons. I'm doing the French lessons in my own time, but I like to show y'all the beginnings of lessons. Um... So this is what my plan looks like for Spanish because I took Spanish in high school and I'm what the app looks like versus desktop. Um, I can't mirror my screen right now because I don't have that set up, but the app's really cool. It's very easy to navigate all the same information. Yeah, it, lo- it looks pretty much the same. You have your same core lessons. You can use the microphone, not use the microphone. But yeah, it is uh, very, very easy to use. So I started at lesson three in Spanish because I had already taken some and it asked me where I wanted to start. So we bypassed the first two and we're seeing how much we're learning today. So here's some, here's more of the example lessons. Um, I should be on the next one, I think, yes. Oh, Perdón, it's- usted habla chino? It's no. having me redo this Chino. one because this is the one I, I got wrong. Uh, no hablo chino. So no, I was having no trouble with chino. usted. So now we're showing. Perdón, usted I've learned. Chino. Perdón, and I've learned. Usted habla chino. Sí. Ch- sí, hablo chino. Perfect score. I mean, who can take me? Now I get my 57 out of 57. Oh, yeah. Which, um, the list of languages, by the way. This is the Explore All Content page. The list of languages, 25 different languages, by the way. And they're in alphabetical order. Uh, You have Japanese, Korean, Russian. So we're doing Spanish, Latin America. There's Spanish, Spain as well. Yeah. English, British. Oh, I started Core Lesson 2. Hold on. Gotta go back. I got a little too finger clicky. I was... Oh, no, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Don't worry. I'm good. I'm good. I thought I got a little too finger clicky. Pies Uh cinturones. So this is where I might have gone too far on my lessons. We'll see with that. But luckily, I can go ahead and translate it. Ten. Oh, I see. So this is ten, obviously. And now I'm learning belts. Oh. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I haven't learned numbers this way. Well, it's using numbers and pairing it with something you maybe don't know. So, say Cinta, and I do know sombreros, so say Cinta is 60. 30 pelotas. 30 pelotas. Uh, I know that's 30, right? 50 corbatas. Balls? Ping pong balls? 50 corbatas. Uh, so that's 
50 ta Oh, these are ties. 20 tazas. Someone stores their ties fancy. Uh, 20 tazas. 20 cups. 40 platos. 40 plates. We know plates. I see what's happening now. Yes. Yes. We're learning numbers. Yes. And this is what I'm telling you all about, 20. what I've shown you. Vente. The 20. pronunciation engine is showing me 30. how well. Trenta. How well I'm pronouncing 30. them. Clearly, I need to work a little 40. bit on my. Cuarenta. My pronunciation of 40. numbers. Cincuenta. Cincuenta. Doing 50. a little better now. Sesenta. 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 Yeah. Counting in French, interesting. But I've been using Rosetta Stone. Veinticinco platos. Breaks it down. Veinticinco platos. So that's going to be 25 plates. And I know it's platos is plates, so I know it's 23, 24, 25. I know veinti and cinco. Veinticuatro platos. Twenty-four plates. Veinte tazas. Dang. Veinte tazas. Can we say it again? Veinte tazas. Tazas. Twenty cups. Veintidós tazas. Okay. So, um... It's already interesting. We're in part three of this lesson, and I'm already picking up what we're doing and learning the numbers better, but also learning other words while learning the numbers, which was not my experience when I, like, took the took Spanish in high school. It is. It is really interesting, honestly. I think that's a really... Well, it's really unique and really, um, I don't know, intuitive way to learn the numbers. So, 22. 21 tazas. Hey, Whitney, welcome back. A nap is great. Uh, 21. 23 this platos. is good because I don't remember my counting as well as I do, like, other things from Spanish. Well, I, I would have never thought to learn it like that, but... Platos. I am really blown away by it because I'm like, oh, wow, I'm remembering this vocabulary word now and I'm remembering the number. 30 and 9 plates. 39 plates. 37 platos. Seven. 37 plates. <laughs> 35 tazones. Oh, who doesn't need 23 plates? Well, now we've got 39 plates. 35. So now I've just learned that this should be bowls. 35 bowls. 34 tazones. 34 tazones. 34 bowls. 36 tazones. Okay, I really like this 38 lesson. 38 platos. I'm glad we started with Core Lesson 3 for Spanish because I feel like this was the exact right level. Um, you can go to the Explore tab and it will and it shows you a whole lot more as well. If you go to Explore All Content, it gives you like alphabet, um, on-demand videos. Ooh, audio companions which I haven't actually explored yet. I should do that. Phrase books. So there's a lot of other, like there's some grammar stuff here as well to uh, integrate that in to the language learning. So we're just about to do the giveaway. Um, it's spoken languages. So ASL, here's the 25 languages. I'll show you again. We've got Arabic, there's Mandarin, Dutch, um, English, American, and British, Italian, Japanese. No, so yeah, not offered yet, but you never know. So that takes me back to use the link, exclamation point, Rosetta Stone, lifetime subscription, you're going to get access to all the languages all the time. So uh, with 
my code. So exclamation point Rosetta Stone, you can get the link there. It's on my about tab. You can click the image or if you're watching on YouTube, it's in my description. You're getting over 60% off the MSRP. So regularly, $399 now, only $149. Great gift for the holidays. As we've been mentioning, this would be me pointing to the crowd if there were a crowd here. Uh, so great value is lifetime subscription. You're never going to have a renewal fee. You get access to all the languages and you can learn at your own pace. So if you need to take a break during the holidays, you can dip out from your language. You fly somewhere. You don't have time. And then you can come back to it, review some stuff. You're not like there's no time limit. So definitely check it out. Okay, we are going to end the stream there. A big thanks again to Rosetta Stone. They are really awesome for partnering with me for these Nancy Drew streams. I always have a blast doing them. Um, so thank Rosetta Stone very much. I really appreciate it. Oh, let's do the outro. Oh, should we do the outro? The way I forgot I have an outro. Oh! <laughs> thank y'all so much for the bids donations subs gift subs wonderful patreon patrons y'all really are freaking awesome it's been a really wonderful long stream today i love sitting here and playing video games and hanging out with y'all seriously so stay hydrated take care of yourselves i believe thursday we're playing animal crossing stay tuned for that we're gonna kick some people out of town love y'all so much Thanks, Anonymous. I will see y'all on Thursday. Oh, maybe a TikTok live tomorrow. Bye!